Um, ooh, I want to speak about how beginners can make money online. And today is going to be very, very wonderful. I'm here by, I don't know, by force. <laughs> I just have to be here. Let me log in so we can have a nice time. Okay. Sorry. I have to hold my laptop somehow so we can go through everything. It's my volume up. It's my volume up. Right. Right. <laughs> nice. I had to check out on that. Dominion Aldo says, Good evening, Zadi B. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, oh, I, I figured something out today that's uh, a little bit breathtaking, I must say. And this I figured out by value of one of the beginners with me that I was teaching. And it kind of helped me uh, understand where beginners are. And when I say beginners, I don't mean people who are younger. I just mean people who are here to make uh, enormous money online, you know. Some people have made some trickles here and there. Uh, some people are still waiting to make their first dollars online. But the number one thing I notice based on what I see, you know, I'm talking based on what happened today, is most of us think Making money online is like making money offline. I don't know if that makes sense. Making money online and offline are not the same thing. At all. It's really far from each other. Offline, you go to work in the morning and you come back at night or evening. You have bosses at work, you know, different, different things. When it comes to online, it doesn't work like that. You see this online money making, there is no salary here. Like regular things that happen, you know, regularly, where we have people who receive salaries. Online, there is no closing time. Provided there is internet, there is no closing. And you can tell by how I run my things. Today is one of the days where I don't feel like doing anything because during the week, I had the so-called malaria, cold. All of this happened to me during the week. I tried to walk through some as much as I can, and I'm still here. I thought about coming to this life today and not coming up to like four different times. I'm like, okay, let me just rest. But just like you know that this life is like, uh, it's like you guys are my gist partner. So whatever has happened during the week, I have to come and gist it. Whatever I know can help, I have to come and say it. So it's almost impossible if I don't come here. And by the way, I've done this for two and a half years, every Sunday. So it's uh, a domino how says quick recovery. I didn't use any drug. I just told myself I'm going to self heal this time. I don't use, not like I don't use drugs, but sometimes whatever happens in my brain, <laughs> this time I just feel like, no, I ain't gonna use drug. I want to see how much my body can protect itself. Uh, human beings are created to self-heal. So I wanted to see how far I could go just to know whether I'm aging. <laughs> if I'm aging, if I don't the old, or if I'm still, you know, young. Most young people can self-heal easily. And so that's, that's why it is. But then I figure out that everyone is coming online wrongly. So the first thing is your mindset shift. That is the first thing that takes you away from this problem of not making money online. So if you have any of these questions, let me tell you from the beginning, you are wrong. From the beginning, you are wrong. Number one, if you say, ah, which website can let me make money? You are very wrong. There is no website that makes anybody money anywhere. That's not how online works. If you think when you are broke and you have tried everything offline and it's not working, online will save you, you are very wrong. 
There is nothing like that, right? Number three, if you say, I want to make money online with my phone alone. I don't have any other thing. You are very wrong. You won't make the money. If you say, can I make money online without any skill? You are very wrong. Is there something I can do quickly in the next two months? Nothing like that. You are very wrong. And I'm mentioning these things because those are things you see on thumbnails and titles. Today, when I was starting this particular video, I just said how to make money online as a beginner. You see before, I'm going to put how to make $1,000 online as a beginner. Beginners cannot make $1,000 anywhere. There's no beginner that makes success anywhere in the world. If you're a beginner programmer, of course, we know you, you aren't going to create anything. If you are a, uh, a tailor and you're at the beginner mode, you can make wedding gowns as a beginner. So there's no $1,000 anywhere for beginners. But like I always say, and I'll repeat myself again, we YouTubers are the prob source of your problems. <laughs> Let me say that again. We are the source of your problem because you come here to watch videos which are good. I'm not saying all the videos are bad, but you cannot implement it at the pace and at the level that can make money. I'm probably going to make a tutorial on Tuesday or thereabouts. And that particular tutorial, I got it from another channel here in Nigeria. I'll mention the name of that channel in that video. Just to give him props. I'm not saying everything he's teaching I agree with or something. But you see that particular thing he, he said in that video was something I was trying to figure out myself. And I tried it for about two weeks. I didn't get the solution because I was just thinking in my head. I didn't do any research. And then I just let it go. And then boom. Boom. Like we always, all YouTubers say boom. <laughs> I don't know what in the boom. He made the video. Do you know that if I tell the guy how much money that thing has made me in three days, what he thought in three days? I only saw the title. And I was like, ooh, okay, this is it. And that plugin he said is free made my life easier to a point that I feel like sending money to the guy. <laughs> and I'm, I bet he didn't even know he can do that because maybe he's not even doing it the level at which I'm doing it. But the difference was when he said the name of a plugin of what I'd been thinking about trying to solve the problem, I already know what to do. I had everything to do. As I'm talking to you, I put one of my staff on it permanently. From that day, this is your job. No other job description. That is what you're going to be doing. And the reason why I did say this is, everybody that would watch that video, not everybody would have the inclination of something like I do. And beginners may not, they will just end up saying, eh, I just watch video, watch video online. I know they make anything. Of course, because making money online is not like regular jobs where you resume on Monday and you're expecting salaries by 30 days. That's why you see people put time limits to what they do online. I don't at all. You can't see me. The first thing that irritates me about anybody speaking to me is when they say in two months or in three months. Immediately, even some people say, I want to join your class. Can I make money in three months? I just say, I'm sorry, I don't have a class. But I saw you, I just say bye-bye. Because it pisses me off. You are not even thinking about what you have to put in it. The only thing you're interested in is what you take from it. Just go and try this thing out if you're single. Go and meet a lady and just tell the lady, uh, please, I'm single. I want to get married. But you see, I'm not interested in this regular marriage. Can you just give me four children and walk away? Do you think any lady will accept that for you? Of course, if any lady is going to accept that, it's going to tell you, okay, you'll pay me 120 million naira. If you want me to give you four children, then you're going to pay me 120 million. Because in life, it is give and take, take and give, give and take. That's how this thing goes up and on, including how to make money online. So what you give to it is the skills you have, your time, the loneliness that comes with that, your ever-present ability to work without pausing. All those things go into it before it will now give you money. So it is give and take. So there's no time limit to it. I'll go into a lot of these other details and probably... Encourage us again to go again.
Because every week I try to do this. It's not easy online. It's lonely. It's terrible. It's everything you can put up to it. I think I appreciate myself even more for going through these for years. And I'm still not tired. Some people need to go to the dictionary and search out what they call perseverance and probably delayed gratification. Because you will persevere, you will add work, and everything together comes up with it. You have to persevere enough, you need to add work enough, and then you have to still delay your gratification. Okay? It's always like that. Just write those three things down. If you are here to make money online, play in the big league and stop you know, whining like a baby here. Oh, I've seen this, I've seen this. I'm not even really concerned because this is one thing I wanted to know. Sometimes when you have a fake tutor, like if you have a very bad YouTuber teaching you how to make money, you may not be able to figure it out until, and I'm saying until, you go through everything the person is saying. For example, if you come to my video and watch how to make money on with articles, just one videos. Yes, you will always have that. But at the end of the day, uh, okay, sorry, something is distracting me. Is the mathematics tutor is saying uh, he bought Grammarly and he has not gotten any result? That's that's not true. I personally sent it, and I and this is funny. Uh, if you buy it online, you can download that on, with, by yourself directly. If only if you pay to me in person. Most people will say, uh, I think we had an issue with our payment plan on two four seven cash dollars. So most people couldn't pay online. So they reach out to me and I send my account number and then I go and download it for them. Now, uh, I was just telling you about my malaria and cold. So for like two days, I worked like maybe four hours in a day. I couldn't work my regular hours. So I, the volume I had, I could not finish up. And that was just a day plus or minus two days in between. It affected me like that little because I had to do a lot of resting. But after that, I remember your name. I sent it to you. And I even replied you on Twitter, if I'm correct, and said I sent it to your email. But now this is it. You see how funny we are. Some of us have plenty of emails. For him, I noticed. He sent a mail to admin at Giant Alert. Sent a mail to admin at 247 cash dollars. Yes, I know you paid money to me directly. I know your name. Easy Mathematics Tutor is not your name. I just don't want to mention it. I know your name. I'm not sick. Get well soon. He's not sick. Check your the, the email you sent to 247 at Cash Dollars. It's the one I sent it to. Because that was the first one I saw. And that was what I always tell us. Some of us, when you... Because you paid me for Grammarly on my... Now, WhatsApp, oh, you sent me a message on WhatsApp that you want to buy Grammarly. Not like I know you are going to pay it now or then. or Some people will collect your account and three days before they pay. Plus, you know, I just make sure I stay on my WhatsApp for two hours every day, which is one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening. I answer as much people as I can answer. A lot of messages. But for people on Grammarly, you should know. I'm sure this is not the first time. But if if you send me message on 247 cash dollars, you send money uh, messages on admin, a giant alert, send messages on Twitter, go to Facebook. Like some people will send you 15 different kind of platform messages for the same thing. So when I answer them in the first one, I already know. Like my, my I have photographic, uh, abigenic, whatever, memory. If I see your name anywhere or anything, I remember everything. So the only time I'll just say, I've answered you on, that's how I'll just be answering you on the remaining platform. Because I can't go back and each time be there. I can't even remember what I downloaded for you at what point. So that's the problem. Stick to me on a platform. If I speak to you on WhatsApp, just stay on that WhatsApp. Don't try to call my attention. I'm the same human being. I didn't ignore it. It's not like uh, maybe I'm alive on Twitter and then I'm not on WhatsApp. No. If I'm, a, if I'm available on WhatsApp, I'm available. If I'm available on here, I'm a, and I go through all my messages once. You see that one hour in the morning? I go through all emails, all everything. That's what I do. And as soon as... and <laughs> That's how I do it. Okay, easy. My friend says it's only on WhatsApp. Then, because I remember this. I've sent this thing. I remember what was in uh, Grammarly. That's not even part of the assignment. <laughs> it's just uh, to download. Just one click, paint, copy and paste, bam. That's all. It's not a big deal. But when I'm streaming from... The house, look, I'm on uh, the Chrome, uh, the Chromebook. This is not my regular laptop. I'm just using this to read our messages to make it easier. I didn't want to cancel today, by all means. I promised myself I want to keep going. Because if not, if not, 
We will. Everybody has a reason not to continue. That's the simple truth. Everybody has a reason not to continue. We all have reasons to say we are tired. We all have reasons to say we are sad, whatever. But the heart of champions is to continue going when the road is rough. So that you will enjoy it better when the road is clean. And that's just that's just the way I see it. Alani Yonshemiu says, good evening, sir. Ah, Mr. Alani Yonshemiu, our case has not been resolved. We are... Um, we have a website we've been trying to recover, and funny enough, I was this close as, as at, as at uh, Thursday. I would have given the good news, but I'm sure. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm lying down the bed, so sometimes my tripod might move because you know the bed is not strong enough. But by God's grace, Mr. Alani, again, this week it will be solved between Monday and Tuesday. I have two accounts like that. One is uh, Ola, Ola Rewaju Eko, and then you, you, Mr. Alani Yonsemiu. I remember your, these two accounts, like my own websites. Uh, your own is, Mr. Asemiu's own is way better. Like, that one is easier. But that Ola Rewaju Eko, I don't know what happened to him. His word fence was out. Didn't do it well. Somebody hacked his account. And people don't know they can hack your website, you know? And then we had to wrestle to collect it back. The person will hack again, change password. And it's not about changing password. It, there are lots of things they, they have access to that can let them get back in. And then we've been going back and forth, back and forth like that. But like I said, until some people finish the classroom and uh, I give them everything they need uh, to be a graduating student, then they will probably appreciate some things I do uh, for them in person without getting paid for it. But for now... Please, indeed, stop asking me if I need a video editor. I I don't give video editing online. I can't be stressing myself uploading 15 gigs to somebody to edit. Uh, video editors are supposed to work in person, not online. Unless you are Mr. Beast or something that need, that has this high quality. That's how somebody told me that he's a video editor. I said, send me a sample. He sent me the sample of the video he has edited. Even the ones on our African Giant channel is way better than it. So I told him, I said, it's like you have not said all this. Maybe, are you India or Philistine, uh, Philippines? <laughs> I like, even the one on the channel now is better than this Jaguajantis you sent to me. And you are telling me to raise this, it will raise that. Some people don't even know. You know, they just think everybody's a random YouTuber. If you're Nigeria and you are above 100,000 subscribers, that's not a mistake. Oh. It's hard work. So I have almost 700 videos and you think I've not learned anything. So I edited 700 videos and that's just one channel out of my 14 channels. So you think I've not learned anything. I'm better than most editors. I can edit a whole movie, <laughs> complete American movie. <laughs> it's just time. The problem is time. It's not work. It's not knowing. I know what uh, audience retention, whatever you want to think you had, forget it. Unless you can edit at the level of uh, these people I enjoy, Jake Paul. The video editors of Jake Paul, they are top-notch. And those ones are like vlog. So you can imagine if somebody is doing uh, vlog. That's what I mean by vlog. Vlog. And they're editing it as if it's a movie. Like the amount of work and uh, graph arts, clips and all that goes in there. It's incredible. Not like all these uh, make money online. Anyway, I promise Olu Atofumi says, Good evening, sir. Senator Elijah says, Good evening, sir. Uche Chuku Kingsley says, Good evening, mentor. Peter Pabio says, good evening, sir. Happy Sunday to you and your family. Abdurazak Kolani Nka says, good evening, sir. I'm reading from us. Chines TV says, good evening, my Bologna teacher. Good evening. I did that for Michael. Says, Oluwada Milare. Hi, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did that for Michael. Oluwada Milare. Says, hi, sir. McDonald Raya says, good evening, Zadi, and happy Sunday. Dominion Audi says, uh, quick recovery. Okay, Churchill Davis says, good evening, African Giant, and happy Sunday. And by the way, those uh, people that won the classes last week, I have not uh, done anything about it. Because, like I said, it's easier said than done. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to... This thing is on my chest directly. It's becoming hotter. Made it in, no go burn my chest. Yeah. Mm. I have this uh, rubber fish. You see the eyeballs? Let me try and see if it will block it a little. If it's not, I'll have to drop it. Oh. Nothing will burn my chest for me. The chest that I'm still Jimmy. Never reach. 
as the Karinjin. Rosemary Anekwe says, Good evening, sir. Please, what is wrong with the keywords everywhere tool? Nothing. Why do you say what is wrong? Maybe it's not working on your end. It's a plugin. I don't know. Nothing. Not like I use it anyway. It's just once in a while. Biodo Bono just says, Good evening, sir. And happy Sunday. I hope you are not affected by Abuja flooding. No, 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 no. I'm not at all. The people affected are people on, uh, you know, Lube is like two parts. You have the one on the right, which is we are going to the airport, and then the other one on the left. Not everybody on the left, but some people at the trade mall side. And even if you go towards that place in, on regular days, you know that that place is like flood area. The the number of uh, what the canals they made for them cannot cope with the volume of water that comes there. It's almost obvious. They've actually tried and repaired, and but sometimes when you have rain like throughout the day, that's when those these type of scenarios happen, and it's very sad, very, 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 very sad. It's very sad. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Mr. Recap says, "Good evening, more energy, boss. Thank you very much." Uh, Senator Elijah says, "Sir, but it's not advisable to take medications." Yes, I take medication. No, I use drug a lot if I like. I really don't get sick, so I just feel like this is not like regular uh, malaria. Mosquito did not bite me. I did not eat what I'm not supposed to eat. So I know that there's nothing like uh, uh, typhoid or anything. I just know that my energy went from here to here. Okay, maybe it was because of the fumigation. They fumigated everywhere. So maybe the fumigation caused it, but you know what it is. I'm just... Uh, that's why I didn't take the drugs or go for any test. I'm just feeling, okay, my energy might be low. I'm still young and I want to just see if I can beat this myself without necessarily, you know, going to drugs. It's not a bad thing. If you are sick, take drugs. I'm not a pastor that says don't take drugs. If God has created us to recreate, whatever we recreate is for our benefit. We recreated cars. That's why we use them. We recreated planes, even clothing, everything. So... Drug is also recreated. Uh, there's not a big deal about it. But you know, some people just make it spiritual. I don't. So it is what it is. Okay. Samson Edema says, good evening, sir. Uh, okay. Did I move too fast? Yeah. McDonald Awami says, greetings from my wife and children. Good evening. Uh, MK Research says, Ogami, I'm here to receive my article marketing gifts. I've sent messages like two times. Okay. Uh, thank God I didn't give money. I can imagine if people on the classroom had been sending messages twice. If it was money, I promise. Hey, I ran away. I know these things happen because the, the real truth is, I think usually I bite more than I can chew and I always like it. And if I'm to confess, it's one of my strategies for outperforming myself. Because... If I have to stay in the ambience of what I'm comfortable with or what I can cope with, I wouldn't have even be able to get to where I am today because I won't be able to push myself out of my limit. So what I do is I take more than I can do or chill and then outwork myself. So there's no single day you call on me. I have more to do than what I can do. And I'm not always afraid to take in more because that's the one that keeps me waking every day. Because a lot of people will say, what's your motivation? That is my motivation. If you, if I don't have jobs, I'll probably sleep. Or if I know that the jobs I have within three days, I can finish everything. So it's just a natural uh, thing for you to relax way more than you should because you know whatever you're doing, you can cope with it. But my mechanism is I put in something I can't finish in three weeks, then I start trying to finish it in a week. So hoping that I'll get another thing to add to it so to extend that time. So that's how I, I keep moving. On Fiverr those days, before Fiverr tire me, <laughs> yeah, because I'm just weary of Fiverr. You, it, it's more, I get orders that I know I can't finish in three months. Sometimes you see 60 orders in queue. I don't care. I'll keep forcing myself to continue working. And that is how I built my hard work mode. It works every time. Don't just uh, believe in relaxation or fun. There's nothing fun about this world. Because everything is vanity. Vanity cannot be fun, including work. Work is not fun, but gives you this urgency and it gives you this 
mindset that you're working on your future and you're trying to improve yourself, which is better for your brain to boost well, positively, than if it is all fun. You see, if you work hard at anything you're doing and you fail at it, that's the only time you can go again. You hear people use uh, uh, Edison that created the bulbs to encourage us. He went 1,001 times. Some say it was 999. Some say it's 1,012. Whatever figure we want to agree with, nobody will continue to do something again if they don't, if they did not do it well at the first place. Like that first time you tried it, if that was what you are not interested, you won't go for it again. But then, if what you have tried, you are very interested and you tried your best and it didn't come through, then you can go again. Like you want to defeat the monster that is uh, beating you up every time. Uh, that was what happened to Israel Adesanya when he fought with uh, Boatan. Uh, what's his name again? I've forgotten this uh, name of this, this Brazilian guy that he fought with and won. Because absolutely, this guy was already, your, he was victorious on you three times. Let's say two in kickboxing and one in MMA. So he comes to Pereira. Thank you, Churchill David. Pereira. Now, it's the same thing. You know that you are, you are giving your all. Why will my all not deliver this to me? So, it continues to go. If it was uh, just for money, like, oh, well, make I just buy Pereira, collect money. And you just do cool. Pereira, yes. If, if it was just, let them just pay me for this one. Even if it's a second fight, say, no, let me go and fight somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So, it's so... That's how you keep up your productivity. That's how you break barriers. You can't be into fun of what you have achieved. You cannot look towards what you have done right and your friends hasn't. Because if that's the case, you just be like, oh, my friends are where? Maybe here and I'm here. But some of your friends too are here and some are like, yeah. <laughs> I hope you saw my hand. I know you didn't see it. Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Abu Bakr Mohammed says, Rosemary Aneke, same thing I noticed, I think it's not free anymore. Okay, that's uh, keyword everywhere. It's not free anymore. I have a lot of units on my keyword everywhere, but I don't know if they are making it free or not. There are loads and loads of... Like nowadays, for people in the classroom, if you are still asking for keyword everywhere or asking for one uh, research tool, shows you are not following the class, which is sad. Because some people will join my class and then they will still go and be looking at some YouTubers to follow their trends. Because those ones will prompt... You know... Look, some people use days, weeks to learn how to hook you on their videos. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like they want to catch, like as if you want to catch a rodent on your farm with trap. They will go and learn in courses to know how to hook you, to know how to do their title. And in my head, since I started, I'm like, why should, if I'm genuine with what I'm doing, why? And it's normal. Everybody can do that. I'm not selling a product. Why am I hooking people? Unless I think what I'm doing is valuable. For You see all these people teaching stuff online. They know it's not valuable, but they know how to hook you. So you are on your own. <laughs> sad. Very sad. They're just hooking you. Because in the classroom, you see that method I taught. I'm, I'm standing by it all over the world. Because I'm in a lot, of, especially for blogging, keyword. Forget it. If you follow that prototype, one, you can never run out of ideas of what to write about in your niche. Secondly, there is no way you will not rank fast because nobody's going to speak about whatever you get at the end of it. Remember, we are using a long chain to produce these stuffs. But for people in the classroom, it's difficult because you might spend like two weeks or three weeks building that thing. And the same problem comes again. Am I ready to go for three weeks building only keywords to get to profitability and then I move it backwards. I start writing backwards. You know, you're supposed to write your articles backwards, not forward. Those some of us start in the beginning and go. And if you're in the classroom, you notice the first 50 articles is the book and the uh, pillar post on your websites. And then you do the keyword research and then you start writing from the low competition. They are coming towards the ones that are, you know, heavily, uh, you know, saturated. But people can't do it because I will use three weeks on this. And it's funny because before you know it now, you'll be one year in the class. 
And what have you done? It's still nothing. Just follow a prototype that will take you like three, four, five months to implement everything. And you can be grateful. Do you know how many people, before I was getting worried, like most of you guys are not monetizing. Now, a lot of those former guys that we started with have monetized, like plenty of people. Ask them how much they make. Because their interest was in monetization. The same thing happens now even on YouTube. You see people running a task getter. I want a monetized channel. Oh yeah, now monetize. Maybe you'll be eating the monetized tab on, on the way. <laughs> it's not about monetization alone. If you don't put things in place to make sure you rank well from your keywords, you will just be there. And then if you are there, your monetization means nothing. This work is funny, very funny. I had, uh, like, was it two or three weeks ago, when some guys who had monetized their channels on this channel, uh, like, spoke on live like this. They said, uh, he said he has made $30 first two months. So $30, $30. And that's all you opened your YouTube channel for. When I told him the first monetization money I collected, my first month of monetization, it was the 28th day of February. I made $383. $383 first month. So even if you change it in Nigeria money, now you have about 300 and something. No. At that point, $383 was... Uh, was about 212 or so. So now, even if I had zero before, I'm like, ooh, this is, at least this makes sense. Then the next month, I went to 500 and something. Maybe 560 something or thereabout. That was when I knew that I, did, I made the right choice. Compared to people who are just running after monetization, they are not talking about their content. Till tomorrow, I still have a, uh, like three of my best ranking videos was the ones I made when I started this channel. The video, no greed eye. Two and a half years. It's still making me about $40, $50 every month. Since that time. One, no. If I tell you the video, say, you know, writing articles. I had to write articles as a beginner. That was the video. It was about 38 minutes long. But then I wasn't worried about monetization. Funny enough, I got monetized easily. One month, nine days. I've told you, anything you want to do in this life, marriage, church, mosque, business, don't ever worry about what comes to you. Life is action and reaction. Whatever you garbage in, will garbage out. So if you are focused and worried about your content, you already notice that life will throw back to you something brilliant and wonderful, which is what you need. On this channel, you see me opening studios, trying to do something. What do you think I will need from that? Why would I wait that amount of millions just for what? I could have continued to produce in my room. Of course, nobody would beat me. But sometimes you just have to improve and improve. Otherwise, if if I was this short, like my six, seven year old or eight year old boy, people would take me to the hospital because they think I'm sick. But the reason why I'm like this, I didn't grow like this when I was giving birth too. I grew up small, small, but you have to continue to grow. A day will come when. Maybe people from Wagner's in U.S. will probably, or maybe we will send our people there or they will send their people here to go and see what our studio looks like. That's growth. That's how you can impact people. That's how you can employ plenty of people. It's not for you to just sit down in a place and say, say I'm making $5,000 per month. That's not, it's not money. So please, everybody, if you're a beginner today, stop thinking about the money you want to make. Even a goat knows he has to eat every day to survive. We know don't worry. Why you won't get to it is what you have to give. So worry about how you can have those things and how you can implement them before the money comes to you. I'll talk more about that later as we proceed. Benedict Bucci says, Happy Sunday, Daddy B. Good to be present today. Sarah Precious says, Good evening, sir. Quick recovery. <laughs> Andrew Gadukevich says, You are right to remind me of that take gifts on my page. Rosemary Anekwe says, I pierced Sunday, Pastor B. Please, how lucrative is cybersecurity? Uh, yes, that is also good. But the problem with cybersecurity is uh, we have big companies that offer it and they're going to do it for you. You, As a person, you can probably blog about it. Uh, but then, it's not something people can do at home themselves. You understand what I'm saying? Because if it's uh, something you can give people the do-for-yourself thing, 
But most of the things needed to secure your website or secure even your laptop and all, you have to still buy. So even if you are teaching, you still have to tell them to buy. But I think it's worth it. If you look at the competition, it looks like something that might make sense. But then you still have to check competition. If it's high-level competition, my because a lot of these companies too would have taken all over all the SEO on it. So just check that out. Mr. Engie says the boss agreed to sir. Regards to your family. Thank you very much. Adeko Joe Adewale says Africa Giants. Good evening, sir. God bless you mightily. Thank you very much. Sirad Fatigu says, Hello, good evening, sir. I hope you are better today. Stay strong. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Achivas Ozu says, Good evening, good evening. And then we have Tea Time with Harriet. Harriet. Sorry, I always miss that. Tea Time with Harriet says, Get well. Uh, David Kolaole says, Good evening, boss. Good evening, sir. Easy mathematics. Okay, I think I read that already. Uh, Rosemary Anekwe says, Sir, please, what is happening with Keyword Tool? I think we already saw that. Some people say maybe they put money on it now or whatever. You can always use uh, other, other uh, tools, basically. Rafael Adedo says, Good evening, African Giant. African Giant, yeah. Promise Oi Ochi says good evening. It's a long time. I lose my phone last year, so this is my first time watching you this year. Wow, nice to have you back. First time this year. We're in June. That's huge. Ah, uh, okay. Glad Waifu says good evening, sir. Nilayefa. Ooh, Nilayefa I hope I got that correctly. Says good evening, sir. And happy Sunday. Race Bot Empire says good evening, sir. Good evening, 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 good evening. Oops, that moved faster. Let me scroll that up a little. Uh where are we? Akin Smart Technology says, Good evening, Pastor B. My great coach and mentor. I'm glad to be here again tonight. Thank you very much. Uh indeed says, so you once had only one subscriber. <laughs> to be very frank, what you just said it sounds like nostalgia to me. Because I remember the first subscriber I had was myself. <laughs> when I opened African Giant, this channel you are looking at, I opened it fresh about two and a half years ago. When I opened it, zero subscriber. So I had one account before. I used that account. I logged into that one and then I subscribed. <laughs> And then I click subscribe so that it will not be zero subscriber. Then it had one subscriber. I remember. The one that frustrated me most in this journey, eh? because my mind was like, I knew a lot. You know, I've been successful as a freelancer, blogger, flame marketer, everything now. So when I came to YouTube, I felt like it's going to be a breeze because I'll just produce everything I know and everybody was going to like it, especially when people love making money online, you know? And then about... One week into my journey, two weeks into my journey, I have 280 subscribers. And then it stayed about five days. And you know people always unsubscribe. I don't know if you notice, but I always notice. So my 280 will go to 284. It will go to 284. And then before I come back in the evening, it will go back to uh, uh, 272 or something too. And you know, because me, I'm real now. So I will just say something to infuriate some people. You just be angry. What's, what's this one feeling like? <laughs> and this, can, can you imagine me? Like, the, it's the same me on 200 subscribers. And I'm standing this way. Everybody will just be... You know, success has a way of... Uh, uh, I don't know. It will just prove that whatever you are saying is true. If I tell you, just be tapping your head like this, you know your book, you know? If I start saying it now, most people are like, how oh, is that possible? What's the science behind it? But then maybe one day you mistakenly, or maybe your child dares you say it, and then he taps his head, and all of a sudden, a child that has been number 12 in the class became first, first, first. Like, if I say tapping the head to walk, oh, and then you tap your own, and then it works, you know? And then the person that thought you say is a genius, even if you say next time, just be doing your head like this, <laughs> you will not be hungry. You will do it. <laughs> you know? Just because I now prove to whatever he's saying. For me at that point, there was no proof for, for what they called arrogance or whatever it is. So, some people are unsubscribing. 
But I stay true to the cause. I didn't enjoy YouTube because of money, so it was easy for me to stay true to the cause and teach the real thing. Even when I noticed that everybody was teaching something wrong and they were having a lot of views, I stayed to, to the cause. I wasn't ready. Until now, I'm still staying true to it. But as God we have it, I already know that a lot of people will cycle back. You see, when you follow all those make money, make money, make money, make money, make money, where you go, 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 go. One day, you understand that I met one man, or I saw one man that was teaching calmly, that is not, you know, doing like others. And then you cycle back. And I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. So that was it. I once had one subscribers. T Time with Henriette says, Happy Sunday. Good to join you for the second time. I'm so glad that you are here. Ugechuku Kinsley says, Keyword everywhere. You know, you now have to sub before they display the data. Okay, that's fair enough. I really don't need data. What, what's their data for? Uh, Adeo Israel Oladayo says, I think Keyword everywhere upgraded from completely free to charging $1 per month. Uh, maybe they changed. Uh, all these their managers and all. You know, some people just come in and say people can afford to pay one dollar for something they use regularly, but it's not that important. Like it's not even important. I don't really need it for anything, because the way we learn on Google and ranking and all, showing me whatever view is there or that how many how many uh, uh, what is this one ranking for? I don't need that. The way we follow through our own, we don't need all of that. You know, so I don't know. I, I've not even noticed it. And then I'm sure there are other uh, uh plugins that can do the same work because i remember there was a time i had like three of them competing for that space before i removed some and left only keyword everywhere you know uh chinese tv says support the laptop with pillow on your lap no it's not on my lap it's on my chest my lap is where the phone is i'm using this uh laptop stand for for the phone I'll be fine. The only thing is I'm, I'm not sure I can go three hours today. I'll probably just do two hours. You can see I'm reading our comments very fast and I'm not explaining in, like, in full details. So we can, you know, cover everyone on time. Okay. Your wet says, good evening, boss. Good to be here again tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, Peter Chidi says, my big bros, good evening. Good evening. And Ojoa Duku says, good evening, sir. B, great to see you on live today. I hope you will get back to me this week, sir. Yes, I will. I'm confident I will. I'm going to make a lot of people happy this week, by God's grace. Because, you know, the way I work is like I'm dragging everything like this and boom, everything will just sort one side. That's how I do a lot of work, really. Eric Chinyasa, I think I have to read that, says, my first time watching you live all the time. I only find videos and not this live stream. I feel like I'm in Nigeria with you. Zambia behind you. <laughs> Let's go. From Zambia, Eric Chinyasa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Okoli Chidima Recipe says, Good evening, boss. Good evening. Uh, Moses Chigose says, Good evening, boss. It is what it is. Good evening. Rafael Adedoin says, Good evening. Good evening. Awa Ata says, Good evening, sir. Please, can you make a video now to make money on Instagram? Yes, I can. I think I thought about Instagram automations sometimes. I'm, I can't remember. Lots of videos. But yes, I'll look into that. Uh, okay. Rosemary and Nikki say something is wrong. Oh, it's no longer showing the organic traffic and other details on Google. Okay. I think we've settled keyword everywhere. Mindful Moment says it's African Giant time. My Sunday, Sunday tonic. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Eric Chinasa says I'm watching you from Zambia. Very soon I'll join your classes. Thank you very much. John C. Ama says, happy Sunday, chief. <laughs> I'm not a chief. Who... <laughs> uh, or maybe I'm getting it wrong because I know what a chief means. Those are the uh, people that support the Oba in Yoruba. That's what they call chief. I'm not a chief. I'm not titled. <laughs> says, I'm elated to be under the sound of your voice once again, sir. Good evening. Franklin AC says, good evening, sir. That's the giant's firstborn. Good evening, Francis. Franklin, I mean. I said Francis. Franklin. <laughs> Adekojo Adewale says, thank you for the information. Thank you very much. OKS End says, wow, Idonte. Hope everyone is fine. Yes, we are fine. Uh, Indeed says, Ghanaians are excluded from the web class. No, they are not. Everybody is always welcome. We don't exclude anything. 
everybody is trying to raise money for their family and we are all here to support ourselves till we get there. Uh, the reason why I come here is so that you can just ask your questions and I can answer you. Because, you know, in tutorials, I just do tutorials. Sometimes people would come back to the comment to say they need this, they need that. But we might not get to that level where we can answer everybody, you know. Because a video you make today, two years, three years, people are still commenting on it. So, and it's not like I stay in the comment like that long. So, but here, you can guarantee I answer the last question before I go. Even if it's 100, I will make sure I answer it before I go. And that's why this life is quite important, even to me, because I know at least I'm tagging along. So instead of somebody saying something behind me, you can see people that bought Grammarly that have not seen it. They come here and say it. So whether I offend you, I will read every... I promise that from the beginning. Even if you abuse me, I will read it and I will abuse you back. <laughs> that's the way I do it. I, will, I don't skip questions unless maybe in the uh, network or anything, and I'll say, please, 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 if you see anything and I've not read it, please tell me back. Otherwise, anything, call me out, I answer it. Because I try my best to stay on the Lord's side and make sure I do everything right. So if you call me out, I'm happy because at that point, I can resolve what the problem is. And there's nobody I can have quarrel with because no matter what is between me and you, two things. Either you watch my video and you say it's not working, and then I'll ask you questions. If you don't know it, then you are at fault. If you join my classroom and you say I've done anything wrong, I ask a scenario. You tell me to give you your money. Abi, you won't pass that one. Although we have this, uh, we are not returning money policy. But of course, because I know Nigeria. You know, when I started this classroom, I was always saying, I'll give you money back, I'll give you money back. And then later I noticed that a lot of people are now using it to scam me. Like, they stay in the class and then after some time they say, I want my money back. Then I cancelled return policy. So it's written boldly on it before you join. Nobody's returning anything you all know. Because I'm not marketing it. So anybody that joins, joins because they know I have that value to give, which I always give, but I still encourage us, please. Whatever mindset you have about making money online, let go of it because this might be different, right? And then when you get in, ensure you do your best to do this. It's for your family. Because at the end of the day, for those who are making money, not like they are bringing money to me, I've told you, 20,000 naira was the highest money somebody dashed me. Apart from a guy outside the country who, who gave me $50. But every other person, it's not like, you understand what I'm saying? The classroom people are wonderful. Extremely wonderful. But I can tell you, if you dash me 20,000, it, it's not 40 you made online. Because this guy I'm saying, I remember by the time he gave me 20,000 that he told me, he has made about six or $7,000 for his own family. So it's for your family. If I'm telling you hard work it, I'm hard working my own. If I say stay on it, I'm staying on my own. I could as well have gone somewhere to get another job or get something else. Stay on it long enough so you can reap the benefit. It's as simple as ABC. Salom Hansen says, good evening, sir. I love your creativity and positive mindset. Even in sickness, God bless you. Greetings from Ghana. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, people just look for every opportunity to, you know, zone out of whatever. I don't. It's either you're alive or you're dead. Provided you're alive and you're breathing, you're alive. Continue. So whatever it is, and the whole narrative is don't look for fun. That's just it. I could be somewhere today drinking champagne or resting and whatever. But if you have that attitude, I'm not saying don't rest. I'm not saying just walk till you die. But if you are not wealthy, walk till you die. <laughs> Does that make sense? Some people don't know the happiness money can give. So even if you say I'm sick, I'm not sick. You, you say everybody that's saying get well, so I'm just laughing at it because what's my own? <laughs> get well at what? I'm comfortable. So leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? See, people don't really have money. They are in perpetual sickness. But they don't know. It's like having mental problem and you think you're okay. Hey, am I supposed to say that? Ah, that will enter. Even me that I said it, it entered my body. <laughs> If you see a madman and you say, why are you wearing your clothes like this? You say, what, what's wrong? What's wrong? You carry another one. Wear another rubbish. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's something that offends me. I don't know if you have seen a madman that can still talk. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh -huh. So a madman is, is not sick. That's how a poor man is. <sighs> I've been everywhere before and I understand. Tomorrow is Monday. 
And like today, those days I'm not working like this. Oh. But like a day like this, I will already be panicking. Because I know when I get to my children's school, just one child said, where they go to school that time, before I remove all of them, they will ask me about the balance of their school fees. And when I say balance, the school fees was about 65000 then. And I had paid 20000 So, <laughs> nobody say balance. Not like the real money. <laughs> but I call it balance because the child don't collect twenty. And then, I don't have anything. Even the uh, school bus balance, that they probably say 24000 for the whole time. And I thought I gave them fifteen or something. I don't have it. So I'm thinking when I drop them off tomorrow, they will ask, what will I say? So that's what I would think. Oh, I'm not thinking of how to pay the money. I'm thinking of what to say to make me look good as a father. So they won't send my own child back. And then if they have sent us a letter that any child that have not finished their school fees would. <laughs> any child that has not started their school fees, they will remove them. <laughs> They will remove them from school. And I'm looking at my wife. This one will call me useless for that, that they are sending her daughter out of school. You see that worry? I'm just telling you the truth for those who don't know the difference. That worry of pain that you don't have money to pay for school fees and balance and all. And the worry that I'm walking through sickness. This one is like eating fresh meat, fresh fish with drinking champagne. That's what this is all about. Like, you can see me smile. I'm not faking smile, though. This is genuine. Like, I'm natural. I'm on my bed now. This is my house. <laughs> I'm happy. I can say bye-bye, good night. I'm tired and go. Nobody will beat me. But you see, this pain is what they call silent, lonely pain. That's what the devil has. There's no body in the level of the devil. Devil is lonely. He doesn't have anybody support him in the hierarchy he is. Because he doesn't lobby, like, uh, how do I put it? He does not call people for negotiation. He gives orders. God will still ask people in heaven for things, and now uh, what do you think about this? He doesn't do that. Because he's the only one that is the source of evil. So he's the only one that understands evil. Even the dark angels are with him. They don't understand evil at this level. So nobody really understands. If somebody saying he wants to go and be like God. No, you can't be. There is no second devil, only one. So that lonely staying by yourself to the dark middle of the night and you sleep off and wake up to the same bad feeling is more tiring. Some people are very comfortable with not having money because they've never really had money before. They only sit in people and they beef them, you know, beef. What's the feeling like? How will you going to buy one shoe, 250000 you know? Special advisor for poverty alleviation. They are not even alleviating poverty. They are looking for more poverty. Because they are used to it. Ah! So you mean this shirt is 35000 You carry 35000 for one shirt. Okay, what's the difference between that shirt and this one I'm wearing? Just take one of it and say, where? Immediately it touches their body. They're like, ooh, this is different. <laughs> but they will never know. Because they know they do meeting for poverty. There is no association of poverty union. There is nothing like that. There is nothing like that. So everybody is assuming what wealth is. Everybody is assuming the impact of poverty. So when you have a way to make money, you are still, you are still using your to second guess it. Are you sure if I join this class, I can make $200 in the next three months? Wahala, wahala, wahala. Are you sure? Am I sure? It's not like somebody, the, as soon as I stay here and say, you have to go and bring one abino and then bring three pregnant women, and then we'll go inside one bush in the kitty state, then you can start second guessing yourself. But for you to stay in your house, I can never forget the feeling when I had the first customer I ever sent me a message on Fiverr. The man is an Italian in my head. An Italian. All my life, it's only if I watch movie, and I know they watch Italian movie. India. And they Yoruba movie. I don't like the color. Those are people I watch those days. I don't like uh, all these Ramsey Noir movies and the Mike. It's always fake. They will do their hand like this. Go, fire will come out of it. <laughs> so I really don't like it. Assuming you are doing incantation. Uh, if you do all of that and fire comes out, at least I know 
Maybe it's whatever you have called that brother fire. But for ordinary rams, you know how to do like this. <laughs> I didn't like them. And then all of a sudden, the man ordered a, an article then and paid me five dollars. Five dollars. In my head, I'm like, dollar. We have been roaming about driving all the car in Abuja looking for Guarimpa, Guarimpa along along the all this rubbish. Look, 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 look that. <laughs> How much was I making? From a single laptop. You people don't know what what benefit we have nowadays. It's a shame on us. Oh. I was telling my wife this evening, I said, shame, 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 shame on us. Shame. Because me, I went crazy once when I got this opportunity. As a young man, staying in your house, do you know what it means that you don't even have overhead cost? There is no overhead cost. You don't have to rent anything. You don't have to worry about staffs. You only need the same data you have been buying all your life. Not all your life. Like and Now I'm sounding petty. Sorry, let me calm down. <laughs> when I start you saying all your life, you don't divest me with that. Because <laughs> I feel pity I feel anger. I feel most of us are just 100% not aware. And right in your presence, some people will go to Big Brother. Three months, they come out as whatever they are, just to, for going for Big Brother. And to you, internet is still joking. Internet is playing. Right in your presence, Peter Obi became Peter Obi from Twitter. Twitter. And here you are. Nya, 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 nya. You are seeing African giant today. When I was doing my freelancing, you think I didn't have money? Of course I did. When I was doing my blogging, you think I didn't have it. What made me come out in the public? YouTube. It's YouTube audience. All those days, who knows I exist? If I like, as you put my head on the ground and raise my leg up, nobody knows. But now if I walk in my estate, in my estate, people are going to shout African giant when I'm moving, just by walking. Which one is better? For me, I like people knowing me because I'm playful. I'm very playful. So I like playing with a lot of people like, hey, you know. So the more people know me, the more I can vibe to their energy. Because I sap those energies. I'm happy with it. Don't give me a dull energy. I'm saying hello. No, I don't like your format. I don't like anything professional. Mm -mm. I like the playful YouTube kind of, uh, even Facebook kind of, you know, organization. And here you are. Which one will I do? Should I do affiliate marketing? I have some link. Where will I market it? Shame on you. If you want to subscribe, unsubscribe. I shall know 100,000 people can not subscribe. And they already gave me that they are pataco, that they are plaque. <laughs> you know, they gave me already, so they won't collect it back. Even if everybody unsubscribe. Sometimes truth is bitter, but it's not every day we say it. Today I'm going to say it. Shame on you. Wife, grandmother, mother, mother-in-law, children, all of them are there. You know they are suffering. You know. What? To, for you to do something to it. I'm not saying go to uh, CBN, go and look for a job. Because looking for a job now is not easy. We know. But the one that is easy is that you should buy a blog and start writing articles. I told you, 30 articles I write per day. Everybody will tell me, how do you write 30 articles per day? I say because you like poverty. When I know that if I have 500 articles on my blog, written by me, not AI written, not the one you copy online or one more. You see, everybody will look for how to make life easy for them. I always look for how to make it more difficult. And I'm not kidding you. I don't want to even talk about these things. Because my younger brother said it. I didn't even realize I was that terrible before. He said when everybody is going towards something that is easy, blessing will face the one that is the most difficult. You know why I have that mentality? Anything that is easy, a lot of people can do it. Even if he's working to ego cast tomorrow. Should be you know, ego cast. When we started arbitrage, this arbitrage, that. Where is the arbitrage now? You think there'll be something that will just take you to take 50,000 and make it 65,000 every five, five minutes. And then everybody knows how to do it. And you think it will continue like that forever. No. It took about three or four months before the whole thing entered bush. But face the one that is difficult and nobody is there. You'll be the king there. And there'll be nobody coming. Ten years, your income is rubbed bulletproof. Because <laughs> now how many people will be able to do it? But every time, even your churches, what they're teaching you is everything to be easy. Everything, which nonsense is easy? God has been God all this time. Is he easy? See what the devil they do. Is he easy? 
If it was easy, why would Jesus come in and die? Jesus even died and woke up and took the key of death and everything. He still said, I'm going back to sit down at the right hand of God, my father, and I will continue to pray for you. Easy. You define easy thing, easy thing, easy thing. Celebrate hardness. Celebrate chaos. I always say it. I say I marvel in chaos. When everything just catabrook, but I grew like a soldier. My brain is working. That's when I feel alive. I like it when everything is... Thank God I'm not a soldier. My own for bad past Sudan and uh, Somalia, this Syria. You see this nonsense attitude I have, this nonsense mentality. It's what I use in everything. That's why I don't go to... Everybody is going to the best school. I carry my own children be doing schooling. They say they will fail. Let them fail. I want to see it. I like it. That's what makes me wake up. Exist in it. Be comfortable with uncomfortability. This one I want to say now. <laughs> I am not supposed to say it. Though. But let me say it. For people who think this life is a joke. It's not. I had some friends, they would think, hey, it's hyping, it's hyping. I say, for your mind, you think I will fall? I will not fall, though. But even if I fall, make I fall, it don't do me anything. I say, this talk, that's how they talk and since. Since I did down. He say, you know our friend, I don't need friends. For people that think loneliness is a disease, it's not. HIV is a disease. Malaria is a, it's a virus, whatever. I be HIV is a virus, malaria is a, a sickness. Loneliness is not a sickness. I am comfortable staying alone without feeling lonely. It's you that you don't have better training. It is like that. Every little thing. It's my wife. It's my husband. Some of you now, you think it's your wife that is your problem. Mental decadence. What has your wife? Did your wife hold your two hands? It's what I did not let me do. Do what? So there's something weird that we are doing. We think we don't have wives. Or you think it's an angel that we married. Since you've been looking at my picture, my wife's picture, did you see Feather behind her? She's also a human being. You think there are no challenges? But do I really measure that? Enjoy chaos. So you are thriving inside that chaos. They throw darkness to you. You convert it and put seed inside it. So that things will grow. So you're in the darkness. They think you'll be blind and you'll not see. No, I carry seed with in my pocket. Plant them. Before they come back, see, they don't see tree. It, the people don't, they buy the tree. I don't, they successful with their darkness. What you concern me? And you need this level of arrogance, stroke belief, stroke your skill, stroke prayers, stroke anointing, to continue to grow. Because I imagine how my mates will make a whole plane. One single person. I'm here shouting on YouTube. Because <laughs> now I'm even irritating myself. To make Randella a lie, to make, to make. I saw a lady from Enugu. She made the voice, voice uh, whatever app. That can control the appliances at home, like Siri. She created her own by herself. <laughs> and everything you think about is God want to use me. God want to use me. So you two will start another church. I want to say dumb, but don't let me say it because some people God has really called them. But if everything Nigerians are thinking about is church and heaven, does it mean what God created us there for is a waste of time? So God created you as a human being. You also, through you, recreated another set of human beings. Some people have three wives, uh, two, sorry, children, no wives, two children, three children. And you think all that is rubbish. Just for you to be screaming, I'm going back to heaven. Before, it's what you do on earth that they will judge you with in heaven. No? So start putting things in play here. I'm not saying serving the Lord is bad. Yes, we serve the Lord. You already know. There's something you can do as a human being without serving the Lord. They are dead. We were created to serve. So as human beings, yes, that's a priority. But what you do with that service is to help humanity. So if you have not helped yourself, like I have one person that's always saying his dream is to help people to preach. I say, Oga, you never even preach to yourself. Help yourself first. I can say all these things I'm saying today because God has helped me help myself. You're also a human being. Cater for yourself first. Some people, I just want to make money because of my mother. Leave your mother out of this. Cater for yourself first. And the way you do that is to work hard and work at what works. Some people are looking for a job genuinely. They, know, they don't know about online. Of course, disadvantage. But you know how online? You know blogging. You already know what gathering audience is. Uh, so some of us are opening 14, 15, 16, 17 channels, YouTube channels, because that's what makes money. If YouTube collapses tomorrow, whatever remains, Jake Paul and uh, the other brother came from Vines. It's just like TikTok. 
When Vine started, it's like TikTok. It went viral. They were there. They were at the top. When that one collapsed and they never existed again, which one remained? YouTube. They migrated to YouTube. Because the skills you already have, nobody will take that away from you. But you're just looking for money. No skill. No nothing. I have one like that in my place. No single skill. Every time I teach them new things, you have to learn this. It will not show interest. But when he sees anytime I'm making a video, I have to make $1,000, like, will come and stay there. He's interested in that one. I've seen that movie. I've seen that video. I'm just looking like, oh, this one, they entire trap. So you think you just watch one video and you make $1,000? I said, no. That, that's, it's just like signboard. When you see people on signboard, have you ever gone somewhere to buy maybe a shoe and you see all these beautiful signages of, and then you enter the shop, the shoes and the sh inside the shop does not represent what is outside. It's like that. Thumbnails are like signboards, just to catch your attention. It doesn't matter that that's the real deal in there. I just hope God will help us. I hope everybody will start working for themselves and understand that having wealth is not show off. Having wealth is to help you fulfill destiny because everything... I saw a movie, they call it Fauda. Fauda is the name of that movie on Netflix. The guy, they killed... Like they bombed all these people that bomb bomb Palestinians and all. They bombed his father with one uh, Israeli operatives and all of that. You know, they did all of that. By the end of the day, the boy now wanted to retaliate his father's, you know, death. You know what he said? He said, "We have the army, we have the belief, but we need money." That was when it became proven that money is of the essence. So whether you have a dream to become the best baker in the world, you have a dream, to, whatever it is, you need money. And you will not steal it. And if you think help will come from above, this is the help coming to you. Start something, I don't know. What prestige do you have in borrowing money and asking people for help? What's the prestige in that? Prestige is in when the work of your hands can gather amount of money for you, which you can do. I am guaranteed to you, online can deliver that to you. Just go crazy with one niche and sit down on it. You'll see the difference. That was what we did. We are still repeating the same cycle. Hey, what can I do? do I have 100,000. Where, where can I put it? If You know how many 100,000 I have? If there's a place I can put 100,000, she I know, go put all my money, make it a double there. And that's what most people are looking for. I guarantee to you online will deliver everything you want for you. Because the opportunity we've not even scratched at all. The only problem is you are looking for the first one. Somebody said, teach us Google Ad Mob. <laughs> Africa Giant, please teach us Google Ad Mob. Something that you will not just do anything. You know, I don't know. What is our interest in not working and just reaping? What is our interest? <laughs> Always. All the Bible quotes that you know is the ones that will say you will not work, you will reap. Or others will work, you will eat. You are a thief. <laughs> That's the one you know. You have not seen the one of ants that you should go and learn from the ants. You didn't see that. You did not see where he said he will give you power to make wealth, which is in the knowledge you have, which is in the skill you need, and the understanding you can implement. You did not see that. It's the one that you know work. You just sleep and money will come. That's the only one you know. Balance it, though. Let's balance it. Fadeka Betiko says, Good evening, Zadibi, and all the giants in the house. It's good to have you live today. Thank you for all the support. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> the things I'm hearing in my head is plenty. Let me just ignore it so that we can finish on time. Vira Furnishot say, hello, sir. How many articles is advised to post per day on the blog? Three. Three. One, two, three. Three. Eric Chinasa says, I'm loving this. Thank you very much. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, because I'm at home, I'm not using my Wi-Fi, so a call came in, and that's like my best of the best of the best call I could have this day. It's painful. So when I finish, I'll call back. That was how the network went a little down. Okay, Okoli Chidima Recipe says, what's the best way to grow your YouTube channel? By creating valuable content. Nothing beats content. Nothing. No matter what any YouTuber teaches you, it's all wrong when you have good content. For the very first time in the career of my YouTube, you, if you know what they call uh, first 30 seconds, that what they call that, where you, you see drop-off. Look, 
okay, let me explain this for YouTubers so they will understand. Is the real problem of YouTube. Three problems, actually. Most people are looking for subscribers, looking for this. That's not the problem of YouTube. What makes your video go viral or valuable, if you want to check the value of your videos or content, is when people join the first 30 seconds. That is, you see, after that 30 seconds, that's when YouTube really counts the number of people that watches. 30 seconds. So check your 31 seconds. What is the percentage of people watching average at 31 seconds? That's your original view. So if, let's say, a video has 100,000 views, on the outside, everybody's seen 100,000 views, right? But you, the owner, just go and check that. If you have 100,000 views and your 31 seconds is reading 50%, that means you only had 50,000 watch past that's place, which is 30 seconds. The meaning of that is immediately anybody click your channel, they just will be this <laughs> and they leave. And it happens normally for us, for example, how to make maybe $1,200 in every month on affiliate. Google, sh uh, YouTube shows my video to, that's why I put my face on every of my video. So that if you want to click, know that this is the person you're expecting. Because now when he shows you to somebody in America who is not in Nigeria and no, who is not black, and then that one clicks and sees my face. You know, they have this narrative about blacks. First, they really don't think we know much more than them or something. So, immediately click, say, oh, not them. Just click out. YouTube will think the video is bad. They won't know that it's more like, uh, I don't like black people. So, I put my face on every of my video. So, it's better you scroll past it than to come and destroy my analytics. But even at that, I usually have 64, 66. That's what I have. Almost 38, 35% of people that see my video go back before they get to 30 seconds. So if a video has 10,000 views, 3,500 of them had gone back before they even reached 30 seconds. How will they continue to watch the video? How will they even watch a second video? How will YouTube have people to show your video to when they are clicking out in 30 seconds? That is the real monster on YouTube. Continue to grow to the point like Mr. Beast usually have 80, he, say, he said, if he has 80% drop off on his video, that video is a flop. He has millions. He said he wants to add 98%. Like, do you know what it means? That everybody that saw your video watch past 30 seconds. YouTube will carry that video and show it to angels. <laughs> Some people don't know how algorithm works. Algorithm works by recommending your videos to audience that had already been known. The YouTube is not promoting to a new person to come and watch the YouTube. No. People, YouTube already knows who likes your kind of video. That's why for channels who don't, uh, you know, stay on a niche, that's the problem they have. Because if YouTube carry your family video, shows you to another family person. Okay. The next time you do something about politics, is showing it to people who have interest in politics. And then, if he ties this one, so he doesn't even know what he should show you to part time. And then, if these plenty of people that, meanwhile, the real problem is your subscriber are the first set of people that will see whatever you have made. So, if I subscribe to your channel because you, you speak about family and relationship and marriage, and then let's say this my hand, subscribe to you because of politics. Anytime you make politics video, me, I will not watch, I don't have interest in politics. And then YouTube thinks the video is not good. So it will suggest it. It will now take. Re, because YouTube will try out your video again with another set of people, even if the video is bad, you will carry it one day again, another day. That's why you need to make sure your video is tight 24 hours. It happened to one of my videos on affiliate marketing. When I created that video, it had about 3,500 views and it died off. When they say die off, like my real audience are not only on affiliate, I'll make money on freelancing, Amazon, Kindle. You know, I was making videos on everything. So when I produce a video on affiliates, the set of affiliates in my maybe 25,000 subscribers might be just 6,000 or 7,000 people. You know, out of these 25,000, it's not affiliate that all of them subscribe to. So maybe like 7,000 is for affiliate. So when I release affiliate marketing videos in one month, maybe 6,000 or 4,000 or 3,005, which is a good one. That's 50% of every, uh, you know, subscriber that I have. But to YouTube, YouTube is seeing your channel as 25,000. 3,005 is not a good one. So he drops it. But guess what he does again? After two, three, four months, you know, 
YouTube will crawl again and come back to your affiliate. And now it's not showing it to your subscribers again. That's how you see videos that you have done six months ago that is not doing anything. You just go there one day to just do and start going. If the video is good enough, as soon as YouTube takes that video, shows it to a crowd that looks like they have interest in this your affiliate, it will just show it to them. If they like it and everybody's watching well, it's going to use that new algorithm, that new metrics, not the old one, to push it further and further and further. That's how it goes viral. But if it shows it to them again and they are not watching again, YouTube will bury that video forever. It will never go out again. I hope you understand it. So that first 30 seconds is what matters most in YouTube. And uh, this week was the best that I had. I had 78%. I can't even believe it. <laughs> you people like a pro quo. 78%. That's the highest. The highest I had before now was uh, 68. This one was 78% of people after 30 seconds. Even the graph, you see the graph, very top. Like, I was like, woo, what did I even say here? Guess what I said in that video? That was the video I told the fake lie in the beginning. When I said Elon Musk messaged me. For those of us who watch me, you know. And that day was because I wanted to explain, uh, I wanted to, a secret website. So I wanted to mention that secret website. I used it and now made it look real in the beginning. So I can tell you it's fake that this is the website that I make it with. So you can make a YouTube channel from it, send Twitter notes, you know, all these things. And people liked it. Everybody I said, immediately I said, Elon Musk messaged me at about 8 p.m. today. I think that was the hook. Everybody said, really? So that surprise element made them stay. But before, when I joined a channel, when I joined a video, I just said something like, Today, I'm going to teach you how to make pff, half of them don't go. Before you teach me how to make everybody don't back off. And that's because we are money making it. You know, different niches determine whatever. But if it was entertainment or comedy, it would do well. Very well, self. Because like my lives, my life has 100%. Sometimes 112% in the beginning. Because everybody that joins a life stays there. They don't just join life and go 30 seconds. So that one has 112, 120, you know. But... If it comes to videos, and that's the big deal. So that's how to grow your channel. Make sure your content is the best in your niche. Just try your best. Anyway. Ade Ola Balogun says, Good day, everyone. My VC, Piri Lolo. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I know what you said. Piri Lolo Koji is Yoruba. Like you wake up early or something, like strong. I get that. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Angie says, boss, uh, do you are you able to work on freelancing this week? No, 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 no. The classes I promised to work on last week, because it took two days off for the unnecessary resting, so to say, and sickness. I couldn't do it. I apologize already to some people that reached out to me on WhatsApp, but please, this is my public apology. This week it will not happen by God's grace. And sometimes I don't want to collapse, you know. Like I don't want to work my way towards uh gassing out burnout they call it i don't want to burn out and that's why i sometimes just do this or so well he says good evening sir i was church very well uh vira funny short says sir can't government include blogging in curriculum many youths are carrying cv up and down before you know what's happening someone will be 30 years old i wish i know about this online earlier the government is not ready to teach you anything to give you uh, liberation. If everybody's liberated, there won't be anybody following it. It's just like me. Like, I can't follow a politician. I can't, you know. So if everybody's like me, who's going to follow the politicians? Politicians know more. That's why we have followers. The pastor you appreciate a lot. Why do you think you appreciate the pastor? Your mentor. Why is the mentor your mentor? He might even be younger than you. You know, people are more younger than, and they call me mentor. Is the amount of what you know. So it's only me that I know more than enough. I can continue to say everything I know, and I still know more than ten times what I know. But most people are lazy, so the little they know, they stay above you, and they don't want you to outwork them. Hmm. They don't want you to know more than them, because as soon as they know you know more than them. You become the mentor. My mentor then, 2008, told me that he doesn't even know who is mentoring who again. I'm not talking of just a random mentor. Big time mentor then. 
because I outworked him. I out strategized more than him. It's, it's just like that. It's four type of out. <laughs> That's what billionaires have. You outwork, you outthink, you out strategize, you out implement. Those four things, if you can out it in your life, there is no mentor that will not call you mentor. You become a mentor to your mentors. And that's huge. And David said exactly the same thing in the Bible. It's exactly like that. I know more than my teachers. You can't know more than your teacher if you only do the assignments your teacher gives to you. You can't know more than your teacher if you are not open for more expansion and collaboration. So you outwork. Because I if for, for like four or five years, I work about 18, 20 hours every day. So for people who are working three, four hours on their online, it will take you about 12 years before you do what I have done, let alone now. So now I have the time, I have the money to keep pushing, and you can see how much. Outwork, outthink, outstrategize, outimplement. You will do way better than your mentors. A day will come before these people like Bill Gates dies, they are in their 60s, before they die, which means 90s or 80s, that's about 10, 15 years, Somebody like me, we have be getting in my house for dinner, which in my wildest dream, I can't think about that a few years ago. But now I have it in my brain. All the big of the biggest I will play in their leagues while alive, they won't die. All these dangotes, they will not die. We would all meet up at meetings, at events, that they will know who I am and I will know who they are. I already know who they are, so they just need to know who I am. Out strategize, out implement, out think, and then you outwork. I put out behind it because you, people that you are trying to be, do better, it's not what you do. It's only in Africa people pull themselves down to grow, you know. If I want to be better than you, I'll pull you down, then I'll stay in your position or go a little higher. No, I will work higher. So even if you are here, I'm going here. If you want to beat me here, you outwork. So whatever I'm doing, you go and double or triple it to get over, including the hours of work. Government will not put anything like that in curriculums. Ordinary money, they don't even teach us in school. So we end up graduates and we know nothing about monetization. And if you cannot monetize, you're in trouble. Except you have the power that Jesus has. So you can send your children to the stream to check the amount of fishes to bring money out. <laughs> because that's how you see everybody praying for wealth. 96% of people in the church, all they need is money. Contracts, money. Even the ones that are screaming love is calculated love. They don't need love. They just want a guy who has money to take care of them. If you hand over money to most women today, they will tell you, what do they need any man for? Because their lifestyle is not even anything marriageable already. It's just that they don't have money and they see their friends that the men are taking care of, so they now form love. <laughs> Please don't quote me on that. I want to be saying this now because now that some people are knowing my face, I don't want everybody to come and say, he said, he said. Don't go and trend me for something bad, though, because no, no. <laughs> Only the good thing I say, that's what you can help me trend. But the bad ones, just leave it to me. Just between us. Let's keep it between us, please. <laughs> I say, what well, pastor talks, say, nah, because of money, women, they marry. I said it too, but I don't mean it. You, do you understand what I'm saying? I said it, but I don't mean it like you are re responding to it. I start smiling this nonsense myself. Let me go on. No government will help you. No individual will help you. Just help yourself. Just help yourself. I'm just telling you exactly what the Holy Spirit told me years back that I implemented. He said, everything you need to be, I didn't put it in others. I put it in you. So stop looking outwards. Look inwards. There's no way you will look inwards. You have to get to your skill and your talents. And the Bible was clear. That is what will make you sit before kings and not mere men. So if you don't look inwards, how would you get there? So you think an uncle will help you somewhere, one person will employ you? He said, no. It is what is in you that people cannot do without helping. So you attract more help when you are more valuable. I'm sure if I... Do, do, okay, somebody said it uh, on Twitter. I saw it. He said he went to visit his friend at home. And then the wife cooked. So if the wife has, I think the wife was cooking or something before he came in. 
And then the wife sent a message. Just one message. Sent it to him. That he should tell the friend that that friend should go home. That they want to eat. <laughs> I, I hope you got what I said. Someone, you went to greet your friend at home. The wife is sending WhatsApp message to the husband in the same house. The wife had come out to greet to. Ah, welcome. Where does he? Went back inside and said, Tell your friend to go. We want to eat. Too. And the friend was with the phone of the husband when the wife sent that. So he saw the message, tell your friend to go home, we want to eat. So he said he just left the phone and pretended as if he had something to do. The husband didn't know and that he saw it and then he left. About 12 years later was when he mentioned it today. And he said he did not get angry because what he felt was like the food is not enough or they don't have enough. But what I saw from that is because the man, the guy, is not that valuable. If you are very valuable and the wife knows, he will carry all the food at home and give you. Because he knows where you are going. This is how you are going to be handing maybe 10,000 or 20,000 to all the children. You know, because he already knows the value. Or maybe when you are coming, you had lots of stuff in your boot. And as soon as you are saying, ah, welcome, 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 everybody jumping up. They open your boot, they are bringing yam, bringing rice, bringing, you know. Who cares about what they've cooked? They will probably be shy to even give you the food if it's not good enough. And they're trying to run behind the house to go and buy. I have a mother, man. I remember those days. There are some set of people they come to your house, you don't care if they eat or not. You just go and give them water. And that's it. But there are some sort of people they come in. As soon as they appear, everybody's running that scatter to get them the best of the best. Because they are that valuable. So it's not about how people react to you. Their reaction is based on your value. Don't get angry when they don't do well to you because you don't command that respect. Why do they like my younger brother than me? Now you know. Oh, why did they always talk to me anyhow? Now you know. It's not disrespect. Eh, eh, eh. They don't talk like that to people who are successful. The world is in a slave mood for people who are successful. Three people be fighting to collect something you are carrying. <laughs> this this one wants to collect. Because he knows when you are going back out, this is how you are going to be sharing into 2,000, 5,000 as you are going. So they will want to impress you. And you can say it's fake. Oh, yeah, now it's fake, but it's life. So instead of you to be angry with the ones they are celebrating, look inwards and become better so you can join that league. Your pain will not change your status. You are not going to gain anything from it. Pain will not change anything. The only thing is move to the point where you gather enough skill. Even praying is a skill. But those people don't know how to pray. It's not this ta 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 ta. That's not prayer, because like I said before, I keep reading, and when I read these comments now, I will not even stop again. <laughs> prayer is a two-way thing. Nigerians have gotten it wrong. They pray one directional. That's why you don't have answers. Two-way. When you pray, God speaks. When you pray, even look at this stream now. Can you imagine if there was no question? I was just talking, talking, talking. Ah, yes, I'll talk for 15, 20 minutes or I'm tired. But you can notice even if I'm reading questions, whatever you say triggers me to speak again. I go back and I can tell that I speak more than you because I'm the one that is triggered. Your prayer is a trigger to God to give you answers. So God will probably talk more. But you see some pastors will tell you God does not speak or God is not a talkative. Who created the mouth? So you think if he created voice and mouth, he doesn't speak. That's what you think. And they wrote the whole Bible in his name. Can you Bible that is as big as dictionary? <laughs> you say God does not speak well much. God is not a talkative. I'm not saying he's a talkative. He makes sense all the time, but he speaks a lot. It's you that have dumb ears that doesn't hear him a lot. Prayer is that two directional. When you pray to him, you listen to him to answer you. Answer. I'm not saying give you the the expected returns answer it's like when you say hello if i want to ask you for fifty thousand naira now immediately i say hello is it is it the money that pops in my account you also pick hello and i say ah, good morning sir how are you doing sir oh i'm, I'm doing fine say i need something no say what say 
Or maybe I say, thank you for yesterday. Ah, my children were so happy for that uh, fruit you sent to us. They were glad. Ah, I glorify. Thank you very much. Thank you. She says, no problem, no problem. Do you need any more thing? That's why our Thanksgiving must be much more than our prayers. Do you need any more thing? He said, hey, I don't know if I'm disturbing you because I need to, but I just don't want to be asking, asking. You know, it's not only me. Say, shoot, 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 shoot. You are my paddy. I say, it's 50,000. I just need 50,000. He says, okay, that's not a problem. I'm driving to work now. When I get to work, that was when I told my mother that thing that day. It was funny. I said, all of us that were asking God for things, do we even know what it cost God to bless us? Do we know? Who had ever reason that? Like how easy or difficult is it for God to do everything you're asking? We don't even know. He's the Almighty. Yes, but do you know he's not sleeping? Is anybody thinking about that? Because when I think about this, I start appreciating him more. Me, I'm sleeping. He's watching over me. I need anything, he gives it to me. So why am I not really, really, really thanking him as much as I can do and I'm still asking for more? Because we are trained like that. You go to, I've never seen anybody do 10 days. We have done it in our ministry. But 10 days of fasting and praise worship. <laughs> you are fasting to say thank you. How many people? Because whenever you are praising and you are marrying. So why are people fasting 365 days? You know, anytime you are praising, you are happy. You are singing, you are dancing, you are appreciating. There is no time you appreciate with uh, with fasting. My father almost destroyed us that time. I started fasting when I was seven years old. And I used the word destroy. Every beginning of the year, January 1, we start fasting. It's January 30. Now, so long ago, why else for the whole year? <laughs> I'm not joking. It happened like three years. My pa will put fast in January 1. When everybody is celebrating New Year crossover, now so we go the fast. Oh, maybe you don't get money, buy food, we don't even know. But now so we go fast. Oh, throughout the year, when he got to the third year, I told my elder brother, I said, come on. Bea, 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 come and see. He be like, say this fast, you know, they work, yo. <laughs> we are younger now. I said, before we started this fast from January 1, hunger, no, they beat us like this, oh. See, but since we started, just like God just carried over the the next year, we, we rioted in the house. We wrote cardboard in the, you know, we had all this way of exhibiting in our father's house. So when it's coming back from work towards December, we wrote the cardboard. Everybody had we are not going to say anything because we are all boys, we can't do much, you know. We just put it up. And then my father already started laughing. He now said, So you people are, I said, no, put the fasting in November or December. Don't put it in January when everybody is celebrating. Guess what happened? Since that day till now, we feasted on January 1 and all. That was when his breakthrough came. My dad became very wealthy at some point. Well, if I'm saying very wealthy, you know, look at place that we were. And he said, ah, is there any spiritual interference? I said, how ah, will everybody be celebrating? You are fasting. Some people say, you know this for your fasting, eh? It's for your personal gratification. Fasting does not glorify God. Maybe you're asking for something. They say the problem will not go away unless you add fasting to it. Eh, you are celebrating the problem now. I'm not saying don't fast. We fast. We do all this. But please, no con make her like job. And then you're bragging with it. I fasted the old 2023. You have simply just said I asked God for something. You are not thank him. All true. Because what is Thanksgiving with empty belly? Does it add up? Make sure it's two directional. Huh? As soon as you pray, wait for the pot. If you are not getting the, the response, wait till you get. Or pray that the Holy Spirit in you will volume up so you will hear what God is saying. Not this hyping and bragging about everything. I'm just helping out so we all can be at a level where we get answers to our prayers. Adeola Balogun says, kindly clarify, sir. Are the Nigerians enabled to open Payoneer account in Nigeria? Ditto for PayPal. You cannot really open PayPal business. You can open normal PayPal which can only send and cannot receive in Nigeria. But if you want to open the one that sends and receive, then you need to open using Lesotho or United Arab Emirates, and there's a limit to that. That's the ones we are using manageably as a Nigerian. For Pioneer, yes, you can open, but when you open, they won't give you an account because they don't want to be wasting their accounts, you know? Now it's not like before when they use all these uh, virtual accounts. Now they have a special account they created for them and all, and they can't just give it to you anyhow. So they ask you to make $50 first. 
So whatever you want to use them on to withdraw the money, go and make the money there and then come to them. They will now give you the account when they can see that the money is available. That's what they are running now. Okay. Osawe Elvis says, sir, can you do a tutorial now to get a free USA visa? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> I said USA visa. USA number. I can't do There's no way you get free USA number. Or you go and do visa and go there. Then they will give you number. But that from Nigeria, you read. There's nothing like that. They have some uh, platforms. All those numbers are virtual numbers. They're not real numbers. And a lot of these platforms will not accept it. So those ones don't work. That's why I said, focus on things that work for the country you live in. Enough of all this, what you desire. It's like that. Don't desire anything. Whatever works in your country is what you stay on. Immediately, Amazon Kindle was doing anyhow. What did I do? I uprooted them. I'm not interested in opening one with something back channel, working my ass out. Something I'm going to do a long term thing on. I'm not stressing myself on it so that you will not block me. For what? Can you imagine if they just block my YouTube channel because I'm not from a country they want? So all my two and a half years will just go away? Never. I can't do that. So I'd rather waste my time on something I know that at least I can get something out of it and stay on it. Stay on the platforms that allow your country. When ClickBank was not allowing me, what did I do? I moved to share a sale. It's not the same thing. Even if I don't have enough products on there, I will sell the one I can. It's better I make $100 that I can withdraw and can grow on than to go and make uh, $600 now and they block me tomorrow. That one is always painful. Because where do I start from again? Start getting a divorce. Literature of 247 says, Good evening, Pastor. Happy to be here tonight. Oru Bernard Exer says, Evening, Ogami. Hard workers never really get sick. They only need small time to rest periodically. Take the little time to refresh your energy. Yes, I have. I, I did that for two days, so I'm very refreshed. I don't know if my face is not reeking refreshment, but Sundays are always very tiring for me because you have to preach in two, three different places and come back for the live and then work later in the office. I didn't even do all of that today because I still took more time off. <laughs> Whatever. I will sure continue to work. No issues. Successful Mindset says, Sir, please, is porn and sex addiction a good niche to blog on and for face that YouTube channel? Am I saying correctly, Abi? Something's wrong with me. Successful mindset. So, how will you start teaching the porno? And if you want to do sample, how do you have children <laughs> and wives? Who's going to monetize with this? Why do you think TikTok uh, creators have problem with monetization? So you mean if Apple wants to sell their iPhone 15 now, they will not put in there the naked guy that is not wearing anything or that you are saying this is how to avoid sex. They will not put the advert around it. Companies will not advertise when anything foul language, you know, they won't come near you at all. So if you like have one billion subscribers, nobody will advertise on it. You can't. Zero. Either YouTube or Google. That's out. Uh, where am I? Mystery Recap says, oops, that moved a little. Let me scroll back up. Mystery Recap, where are you? Mystery Recap, ah, this thing don't move like this. Okay, Mystery Recap says, yes, boss, the first day I saw you on YouTube, that's what I felt like. But when I go around, I no see the real truth about this online business. You are the real one. Oh, so you thought I was just arrogant with this. <laughs> Mystery recap. No worry. Thunder don't come out. He's he busy somewhere. <laughs> I for you, Sam. <laughs> so you thought I was arrogant. I'm not arrogant. I'm just... I'm not. But like I said, if anybody feels bad when they are questioned, and I'm not even sorry to say this, most people will have problems with marriages. Because now if your wife tells you what you did is wrong, and so you go the... <sighs> Now, maybe boss, yeah, I'm the guy here. You know, it's just like that. Sometimes we have to be teachable. That's why the Bible says, uh, Jesus said that if whoever wants to come to the kingdom of God needs to be like children. They are teachable, they are learnable. Even if you offend them, they forgive you. They are not easily irritated, you know. Those are the characteristics that God wants in heaven. So if anybody is sounding and they are getting irritated, especially for strangers you don't know, Oh, it's you that have problem, oh. Because what, what for? It's not like he knows you in person. He's just talking. 
But that just means every time anything goes against what you know, you get angry, which is not a good trait at all. It's not a trait for people who want to even succeed in person. Because why, why should you get angry? It's nothing. If it's something that is paining you based on what they are saying, it's probably maybe what you are behaving with is not good. It's not an issue. But like I said, I know this goes around. And then when you go around, like you said, you come back to the real truth because it's just normal. They will just tire you out and you watch, watch their video, nothing. Elijah says, happy Sunday, Pastor B. Please, does Google differentiate between affiliate links and links from credible sources? If yes, how? Yes, now. The links are different from affiliate links. This is what you do. If you put your URL, which is those ones you call credible sources. For example, if I'm linking to Wikipedia, just check that URL. You see HTTP slash all these things and they see, you know, the domain name. That is different. The source code is different. But if you look at your affiliate link, anyone you see, you see to have all this question mark, uh, uh, percentage sign, all this yama yama thing, and it will be very long. That's cookie. The source code is different. So Google knows. Along that, John says, good evening, and happy Sunday. Good evening. Uh, Chima something Tangod says, good evening, sir. Good evening. Mr. Mike says, good evening, Pastor B. How do I improve my website speed? Also, between Pro Math plugin and use plugin which do you advise for a website i don't use promat i use Yoast, and the Yoast i use it's not like i use the plugin i just use it for uh sitemap just to get my sitemap to send it to google that's all when it comes to articles you see all those promat and Yoast telling you something is green red yellow uh, change this change that it doesn't work for articles like i have websites that i wrote that all of them are red all and the reason is because I did not submit the article to Yoast. You know, before Yoast can read whatever you have written, you need to take pick your title and put it back in Yoast to tell you this is what I'm ranking for. Then it will evaluate whatever you have written. But I didn't submit it. So it was put in red and it's one of my best websites to date to today. I don't care about them. Look, just write something a human being can read. That's all. Give valuable information. Because anybody, you know, the way we are looking at blogging, just like I explained for YouTube, People just look like blogging because they want to make money from it. I don't look at it that way. How to feed my dog or how to feed a dog. No, let me put it this way. How to feed a two-month-old puppy. If that is a title. For anyone who comes to YouTube, uh, a blog or Google, to type how to feed a two-year-old puppy, what do you think that person needs? That means he has a problem with feeding his puppy. Why would I go and type that on YouTube or on Google? Then, for you to start talking now, you can start your thing like AIs will write. You need you need three something from something. No, you don't start from that. Normally, there is a way you show, I'm telling you readability that makes people love your blog. You make it like their problem is your problem. How many of you had seen yourself through me today? That's the real deal. You see, when they tell you about storytelling, that is the real deal. Because now, if you are lonely, nobody to help you, you are out of work, your wife is there, you are suffering. And I tell you, this was me about a few years ago. And then how did I get out of it? Now that is inspiring you like, okay, if this man can get out of it, I can get out of it. Why do you think people are lying? Every, even if... <laughs> Uh, Ilda Basi, the girl that did cooking in Nigeria. You know, there was a day he said uh, he lived under the bridge that he doesn't have a home. <laughs> Somebody said every successful person must have this terrible story that even those that don't have, they will go and create. And it's almost the truth. You know, there was a day I imagined that. Let's say, assume me when I came from Ekiti. I was okay, standard in Ekiti. If I didn't come to Abuja and go through all this stress, what would I be saying on this channel today? Apparently, the problem I had is what really catapulted me into greatness and it's the story I have. I didn't know I needed the story. When I was growing up, my dad was decently okay. So not to consign me with the, all these people forming poor. Why should I form poor? What, what What's my interest? But I went through it. Real poverty. So I understood that that was a problem and now I'm happy that I'm out. But that's the story. Somebody now told the Dabasi that, no, you cannot live under the bridge with this, your body, that. 
that you are not telling us the truth. You are just trying to motivate people. You see what I'm saying? So it's always ideal every time. Just ensure that you, you, whatever event is going through your life, I can guarantee to you it's something that will be beneficial forward. But if you're on a blog, whether the event happened or not, you have to, it's like storytelling, you have to manufacture it. So something, I don't have a dog, I don't have a two-year-old puppy. I'm just telling you, if I was to write a blog now on that particular topic, I'm going to say something like this, like, the first time my puppy went hungry and I tried giving it food, which is the problem, the puppy was not eating. I didn't know how to push the food into the puppy's mouth. And it was a big problem for me. Until I discovered the, you can name anything, even if it doesn't exist, the Machiavellian style of feeding a puppy. So the person that also have the exact same problem, we see them themselves in you and see the solution through the solution you got. I don't know if that makes sense. So if I told you that I was hungry, I didn't eat meat for three years, I, and then you are looking at me today like, Ooh, okay, so he's now wealthy. So how did he do it? And I'm telling you, he's blogging. Now you see, oh, I can do it. Before you know it, you say, oh, okay, I want to join your class. Oh, okay, come and teach me. Oh, this is mentor. And then boom, you two will get out of it. And then you two will go and teach others. It's the same process. We keep cycling around. But if the day you came, I'm just saying, you can make 2,000. Some people do it. They are fraud. They are not interested. They are not ready to build a long-term relationship with you. It's like a guy who just wants to sleep with a girl. Just, he's not interested in your family or whatever you want to become. What's because I mean? Let's go to eat. Eat tree. Let me buy you some things. He will try and impress you. Ta, 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 ta. So that you can quickly open that leg and let him carry his guy and go to another person. But for somebody who wants to build a long-term relationship with you, who is looking at you together as a friend at age 60, and you're 23. You think he will be buying you gifts like that? No. He will come and stay with you and say, how was your day? What's your plan? What do you want to do now? To most women, it's, they say this one is boring. It's not, it doesn't have life in him. Because they want those gym, gym, gym that will carry them everywhere. And blah, 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 blah. But you see those, blah, 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 carry, now say you go, blah, blah, enter you. Carry him, blah, 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 and go. That's all. That's all. It's what happens. You know, if you're a girl and a guy, you know what the strategies are. It's like that. But when people see themselves through you, that's it. That's the winning magic anywhere. Whether copywriting, whether anywhere. It's like that. And then, immediately that happens within the first two, three lines of your article, the right reader settles down. It, you know people that come to Google are looking, they are searching. If you want to buy a particular shoe, brown in color, pencil mouth, that's affordable, maybe you're looking at 60, 70,000, and you're just looking for that particular brown leather that looks like snake leather, you know? You've been looking for two, three shops, and then you just see a shop that they say, brown snake leather shop. What's the first thing that goes to your mind? You first of all breathe down. Like, ah, my search is over. Immediately you settle down that way, that's it. That's the success of a blog. Google will look at how many minutes every reader uses on your blog. They use that as ranking metrics. It's a major ranking metrics. Because if you write something, seven minutes, and people are using six minutes, and then Google has 200 people use six minutes, and then the people ranking above you, they wrote seven minutes, and people are using 30 seconds. Which one do you think Google can put on top? Your own article. Boom, you're ranking. Did I do keyword research? No. Did I look for what to SEO difficulty? No. Did I use Yoast? No. What did I use? Storytelling that can show the problem or the reason for you writing the article. That is readability. You know the first thing? The same thing causes expertise. Because if now I have a dog who I couldn't feed and I have the same problem as you, I'm an expert. Because now I'm feeding my dog, and that's the Machiavellian strategy I want to tell you. I am an expert. So one stone kiss two birds, which will now make you have authority in that niche. What does Google rank with? Double -E -E. Experience, which I now have. <laughs> you see how just one single story can change everything. Experience, expertise, authority, trustworthiness. One single story solves this for. Boom. And then from there, you explain what you did the first time, how you cleaned the, made the dog, you know, 
be at peace because it was the first time feeding, so it can familiarize itself with you in the feeding category. And then you say the materials you use in feeding, and then you just continue like that and explain it. If the person reading it can read and follow through and just implement it directly, you have a powerful article. But if it's AI written and somewhere just margin up junks, of course, the reader will leave your own, go to the next one, and continue to flow leak till he gets the original one that will do this thing I'm saying. Google will always notice. Nobody searches anything online and not get answer and go. No, they will continue to search until they get the answer. And how do Google know if the person got the answer? From the blog they got to, and they go to another search entirely, they know that they got the answer from that place. If somebody clicks your own puppy and leaves your blog, goes to another puppy, your blog is not good. Google believes that if you've been answered, you don't go to another one. And that's how to know. So that's how to get your stuffs up on Google. Okay, where am I? Uh, have I read these? Chima Simpson Tango says, good evening, sir. Good evening. Mr. Mike says, good evening, Pastor B. How do I improve my website speed? I think I answered that already. Uh, Chima Chap Samson says, do you teach Google AdSense arbitrage blogging in your masterclass? I don't teach all this blogging. I teach real skills and real implementation. Not all this make money quick, quick. That doesn't work. Mr. Moneybag says, good evening, sir. Please, sir, how can we get Grammarly Pro and Uber Suggest Premium? You can get Grammarly Pro. You cannot get Uber Suggest Premium. Not from us, anyway. Not from 247 cash dollars. I says, I have UBA prepaid card, but funding is a real problem. Funding is not a real problem. Go to any Aboki and buy dollars and, you know, put it in it. That's it. Olua told me Oshidina says, Good evening, sir. Don't forget to make videos about Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and other ads. It will be a great video for me as I've started a t shirt design and started publishing them on Printify. Okay. McDonald Iron says, My children said you skipped their question. They ask about keyword everywhere. I answered keyword everywhere. It's a plugin for keyword research. It's not keyword research, really. They have the premium version for keyword research, but the free ones then will show you the volume, will show you how many times they have been clicked per month and per year, you know. Those are things it shows. Allows TV says, how many videos does it take to get monetized on YouTube? I have, uh, when I monetized this particular channel, I had about 38 videos. Not about, I had 38 videos. I had 38 videos when I monetized this channel. But I have, uh, like Jan's tube, I monetized it when it had maybe eight videos or six. That one was faster. And then I had my movie channel. It was just one video. That one was crazy. I monetized that channel with, within four hours. Cause I, but you know, movie channels, it's not the channel where you go for different movies. It's the movies that we use money to shoot. So there are celebrities in there. All the superstars, uh, Femi Adiba, it was a Yoruba movie. And as soon as I posted it, within four hours, it had gone to 68,000 views or so. First video, 68,000 views. It, the film was one hour, 25 minutes. People watched it for about 45 minutes. So by the time it got to like 25,000 subscribers, uh, 25,000 views, it already met monetization. And the number of subscribers from that 60-something thousand had gone to 2,200 or something. So... I just posted it, uh, we launched it around 12 o'clock by 2 or 4 or something, it has met monetization. And I applied. And they approved immediately because there was nothing on the channel. So <laughs> there's nothing to look for. Or just one video. Boom, monetization. And then that was it. So it doesn't have to do with how many videos. You can have 2, 5, 10, 100 before you monetize. It's when you get to that performance uh, that they want. That's when you get monetized. Franklin is to say, I, I saw a YouTuber promoting your course as an affiliate. I think I also saw it. You know, we have giantalat.com, which is our affiliate end. So some people, the guy makes money. Oh. <laughs> you know, when I saw the guy, every time we are pay, we pay on Fridays. And I noticed this guy, I've paid him like four, five, six times. Like every Friday is collecting money, collecting money. Like, ah, who be this? <laughs> so I went and looked at it. He wasn't doing much. He just had a YouTube channel. You know on YouTube, even if you do crap, you still have 12 views, 15 views. And make a no lie here. Yeah. What did this guy do? Even me, I, 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 my, my liver caught. 
he goes to YouTube, cut part of my videos, just like this one I'm saying. Maybe any part, you know, you know this thing is like personal. I might be saying a lot of things and you, you are not feeling anything. And then one, I just say something, you say, hmm. Any part he says that, hmm, you will just cut that part. And then merge it together on the video, he will not speak. This one I saw, I don't know if I, but this particular person that I went and researched. And then you make a video about it. Oh, you, I can teach you how to make this so every month. Very easy. You have to do your paper. And then you say, I'm not the one to teach you. I have a mentor. That's our mentor. That taught me and he will teach you too. He will just say it like that. And then say, okay, hear what my mentor said. <laughs> and then we will play part of my videos. Maybe even one minute in between. And there's no way. You know, this thing is just normal. It's like with those days. If you actually want to date a girl and you don't know how to go to her or you want to prove level to her, all you have to do is tell your one of your party to say, I will sit down here. You go and call her. You know, the first impression when the girl says, my guy is calling you, the girl will say, can't your guy come and meet me here? Or if it's normal, depending on the girl, I'm going to say, really, where is he? And then go to the yoga. Level approved. Either he comes to the yoga, or he say, can't your guy come and meet me? The two had shown the level of this person is a higher status person. So the fact that the guy is saying there is another higher status, it works for him perfectly because now, People that are not supposed to trust him if he's the one to do it on his own, we trust him because he's saying anoga. Just like me coming to tell you tomorrow and say, I have a boss or I have a mentor. And then I say, everybody will go to the mentor. Even if if I say I have a friend, not even mentor. Let me just say I have a channel, I have a friend, and I mention the person's name. Everybody goes to that person. So it's always like that. And it works for him. Editor Mogbai says, Good evening, Pastor. Which area can you advise me to quickly? <laughs> to make quick money like $300 per month, God make you well. There is no $300 quickly anywhere. The same thing that makes $300 is what makes $30,000. The same thing. If YouTube can make you $100, it can make you $1 million. If blogging can make you the same thing. So the same process. There, that's why I said there's no quick money online. Nothing that I know of. Because some people tell you varieties. Forex, they are, this one, they are uh, arbitrage there. If it has been making, you should have been making it now. Because it doesn't make. You only have that hope. And like I taught my boys uh, last week, one of the things that I usually don't have that people don't understand is hope. Hope is what will destroy everyone last, last. <laughs> I'm not a fan of hope. And I'm not saying hope is a bad thing. But hope is what will make you lazy. It's what will make you give up on yourself at the end of the day. I don't know. I can go with details in hope, but I won't because of time. But when you are reckless or you are stupid or you are not achieving what you should achieve at your age, the only reason is they will tell you hope. I saw something on... Uh, in, I'm going to react to it in, on my reaction channel because I have this reaction channel I'm building now. Why is anybody pressurizing you? you mar it was Renan Mokri that said this one. He said marriage is not an achievement. Uh, don't let anybody pressurize you. Me, yeah, I'm looking. I'm married. I was single. Even today, at my level now, if they ask me what's my achievement, it's marriage. Oh. Hmm. I'm just looking at them. And you can imagine the large following he has. And a lot of people say, hey, she has said it. Marriage is an achievement. Come and tell me achievement now, that you have houses. The day you die, you go and carry those houses to come and bury you there. Or they will come and be the one to cry at your grave. <laughs> those your houses that you have in London and uh, America, maybe the tenants that are living there, they've come and absolute trash. I don't even know how people think about these things that are like, like goats. Marriage is not an achievement. So how do you have children? Because what? They celebrate rubbish. So you have children out of wedlock. To you as a father, it might not mean anything. But to that child, who you have not made to grow under perfect condition, it's like planting a tree inside the bucket. It will strive, but it will not grow to its performance, to its level of normal growth. Because the sand inside the bucket is what? Like flowers. You know these are flowers. For something to grow heavily, put it on the ground so it can spread anywhere. So now, father and mother are not living together. For people who had lived with a single parent, they know what I'm saying. Because there's no way your mother, no matter how good she is, she still needs to see some men, you know. Just men will come. You call them uncle because you are young. You don't know that they are coming to, to service mama. 
You know? You say uncle, 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 ah, you like uncle this because he buys you sweet. You will know. But the uncle does not care for you. He's coming for what is coming from the mother. So the the sons and the daughters are the ones that f- they feel the impact of divorce and broken marriages and the ones that never existed, baby mamas. They are the ones that feel it more. More. I lived under two parents, my mom and my dad. I can't even imagine how people survive. Like I use the word survive. How did you survive living with one parent? Survive. Because in my even in my house now, if my daughter does anything and say I don't like it too, she'll go back to my wife and reconfirm. Sometimes they want something. My my mother, will, uh, my wife will say, no, 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 don't don't touch it. Don't touch it. Go. They will, you start, come and meet me. Now do you see that on the, can we touch it? In the early stages, I'll say, yes, yes, yes. They will not say, but mommy said we should not touch it. So now I have to go and convince their mother to let them touch. But now I know that anytime they come to ask me something, I say, what did your mother say? <laughs> Whatever your mother say is fine. Like, and sometimes I might probably stand up and go and appeal to my wife to say, that's, that's like how children enjoy childhood and thrive. They have options. You know the option is not even limited. Sometimes you have grandparents' options. But here you are. If your mother says no, that's no from heaven to earth. If you say sit, that's it. Nobody will come to your rescue. If your mother is angry and he wants to punish you, nobody will say please. If my and I know anytime my wife wants to punish the children, I'm always there to appeal to her, I beg now. The child will not receive that punishment. If I want to punish them, the wife will come appeal to me as well. And they also not get punished. So it's beneficial to the children. But you see this nonsense teaching that they are teaching, arrogant people everywhere, thinking marriage is supposed to come and serve you. So you are getting married because you are it's your retirement home. So that if you are married to a man now, the man is now your errand boy. You should be was praised and worshipping you there. That's what some people think marriage is. I just want somebody to take care of me. So you are now what? You are handicapped now. That you have to go into marriage like that. And you see the husband too, getting married because he wants respect. Hey, they respect man. So because you are now the chief oba of your community, just because you married a single girl. Bad training everywhere. Meanwhile, the job of marriage is for two of you to come together for the same purpose of raising this new generation. So everybody puts their hand together. I'm not important in my house. My wife is not important. The children are important. It's simple. We are adults. We can do whatever we like. Children cannot. So we have to put two heads together to make sure we train them the best way possible with prayers and everything. And then God willing, they turn out good. Oops. Anyway. It is what it is. Adeleke Rukaya says, good evening. Ah, good evening. Indeed says, do you write scripts before making your videos? Yes, I do. I write the scripts. Not detailed, detailed, but at least I need to know where. In the beginning, I didn't. So my videos were always very long. But now I do. My videos are between 8 to 12 minutes now. Uh, Rosemary Aneke says, thank you, sir. You made formatting easy via MS Word. It helped me a lot on KDP. Okay. John C. Ama says, it is what it is. Uh, Rosemary says, please make a video on KDP keyword research. I already have it. Just type African Giants uh, KDP. You see everything on this channel. Uh, Nlem Chuku Kleto says, may God bless you. If you don't have money, it is sickness. Yes, it's sickness. Because even if you are not sick, you feel sick when you don't have money. That's the simple truth. Uche Chuku Kingsley says, talking about work till you die. Daddy B, do you have plans on making your classes last longer after you are gone to heaven? I'm around the age of everybody on this channel. Even if I look older, I'm very young. So uh, everybody will be old. But anything I have today, I'm probably going to just put it up and uh, make it a company like I've already done. And then children, children. You know, things will change now. But that's how you make uh, long-term, you know, passing what you have to children. The whole essence is write a lot of books, right? What is in my generation now is only books that will not go away. PayPal might have died after some time. So if you have videos on PayPal, what does that mean? But this thing you said, eh, if I, it's just like you're putting your hand in my mouth to talk. <laughs> mm. Seven levels of wealth. Seven. Some people are not even on level one yet, let alone climbing the ladder. 
You see, wealth generation is different from when you migrate your wealth or when you now pass it to the next generation. Wealth passing. There are some kind of wealth that cannot be passed. For example, some people think when they have houses in Lagos or something, they pass it to their children. Mm. That one, they call it Ogun. What is Ogun in English? <laughs> if you are Yoruba, please help me out. What is Ogun in English? Oh, oh indeed, he's 16 years old. He said, are you welcome here? You've been here for about one hour. I'm still asking if you are welcome. You are not welcome. Go home then. <laughs> okay, David Kolaole, thank you. <laughs> Uh, hey, Baba, always on point. Inheritance. That's not wealth. It's inheritance. They are passing inheritance to children, children. And if you have a good child, you know, go sell them. If you have a very wayward child, you go not sell the inheritance before you even reach children's children. And then I remember those days, they would tell us that uh, education is what you can pass to children's children and all. Yes, that's also part of it. But when it comes to wealth transfer, like the one you want to transfer to your children, it's not, thank you, okay. Gabriel Olusheshi says, legacy is Ogun. Wait, Yoruba is difficult, just forget. Because if you go this route now, one hour we are still talking about it. <laughs> is legacy Ogun? I don't think so, is it? Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm saying SSC is, for you to transfer wealth to your children's children, you people have started the inheritance is open. For you to transfer wealth to your children's children, it's not just building because the child you thought you built the house for in Osho State or in Lagos or in Abuja is now a medical doctor in US and probably has his own house in maybe Canada and also in let's say Texas. So which day with the house you have in Lagos be more valuable and not like you're a big rich man, no, maybe you just have a three bedroom somewhere. It's not as important. You can't fly to fly back to Nigeria because of your three bedroom is going to be very difficult. So that's why I said all these things are not inheritances. But look at it from this perspective. If if you what you have, for example, is in line with what your children can build on, that's why it's very difficult. When you are creating businesses, stop creating businesses for your that goes along with your line or uh, how do i put it i'm trying to get the right word goes along with your age do businesses that when it moves forward it has the facility to move to the next generation for example if my dad when he was growing up was a teacher like there's no way that can impact the children at all nothing hence he's alive everybody's alive but we don't even see five years six years it's only on phone, majorly. But if my dad then, let's say now, if he created, let's say where they were doing shoes, it doesn't have to be big. That's why most people don't know. It doesn't have to be big. Tesla, the Tesla that uh, Elon Musk uses his name for the production of the car. I didn't even know who Tesla was until Elon Musk brought him out. He's a human being, a scientist. But the thing is, Tesla didn't really produce much, as far as I know. But Elon Musk went and brought him out. So if what you are creating in business, it might not be big, it might not be a multi-billion project, but it's something a child can build on. So from US, you might say, okay, my dad had a place where they do shoes. I'm now an engineer, something, something, something. We can build more on that. Even if he's not going to come back and pack your shoe tread and all, you can just pick the name of that place. And that shows you have continued whatever. That is the transfer. It's not bank money. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not houses. If you have all of that coupled with these, beautiful. But that's just how it takes. So my own strategy is to move towards this direction than any other thing you want to pass if we go to heaven. Oluwatobi Osidina says, good evening, sir. Don't forget to make videos. I think I read that already. Uh, Okechuku Kinsley says, also, could you kindly advise us on how we can structure our online business to last longer than we exist? Maybe on live or in the classroom. Uh, we can't talk about, because you need a lot of money 
a lot of money to structure anything after you are no longer existing. Some people think uh, children will waste. Mm -mm. It's not about them wasting. It's the volume of what you have that determines how you can structure. That's it. If I don't come to this YouTube channel again, in about one year, you won't even remember it existed. Because a lot of people are online. Even my grandmother is creating content on TikTok. Everybody's a content creator. So why would anybody stay on you? You have to make sure you're making money online. You have to take it some, into some other places to create that real value that can contact people like physically. That makes it better. But most times, you know, just like Yoruba, I can't be talking about afterlife when I'm still living one. So <laughs> I know they teach anybody what you go do. When we reach 65, remind me, when all of us reach that age, we'll start talking about that. If my father has not he has not started talking about afterlife, so it's me that we're talking about it. God forbid. <laughs> I'm sounding like a Yoruba man now. Adekoya. Gabriel says, good evening, sir. Please, the KDP videos is still not open for me yet. You promised last week. Okay. I don't know if I spoke to you on Twitter, but I already explained why it is not. I believe by now you see it because I have explained before I got to your question. Uh, your word says I can relate. Just like when someone buys phone for certain amount, I'll be like, it's too much. Oh, I don't know. It was poverty that is worrying me. Yeah. You might say it's not poverty, but it is. Because even me, I've said more than that. <laughs> ah, I remember when there was a phone. That phone, I don't know, maybe Samsung or something. It was 500K. Then somebody bought two. One for him, one for the girlfriend that time. Ah, I won't faint. I was like, how ah, would you waste money like this? He said, no, it's not waste. <laughs> he was just trying to convince me that, no, 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 no. That's not waste. That's not every day you buy a phone now. That before you pass another one, maybe two, three years. That you just calculate it, divide 500 by three years. That I have a one something. That means that I'm buying it. <laughs> not the way it talk, where it's my I was just like, because I don't even have 10,000. So you can imagine I don't have 10,000. I was looking for maybe 300,000 to invest in money, business and make money. Then you're using one million to buy phone. I wanted to faint. But when it got to my turn, my own was. <laughs> I was worse. That's why all these people that are for me. Deputy governor to poverty. I just don't look. If you, when it comes to you, come on now. You you do worse. And then we have uh, um 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 mean um mean ye. Ukamaka provinces. This is can I write articles by myself. You have to search on this channel. African giant articles. You see there. Oluwatobi Oshidina says good evening, sir. Don't forget to make. I think I read that. Yeah, you keep typing these. Uh, Nwachukupi says, celebrate chaos. LOY says, I'd be like, say you go, it'd be like, say you go start motivational speech. <laughs> Apio Kolo says, good evening, Pastor. Blessing, Kalawale. Happy Sunday. I'm ready to start the premium class. How do I get your account details to pay? You know how to contact me. I think we spoke on Twitter or something. Whether Twitter or, you know, or WhatsApp, I'll be there. Bashiru Dayo Mame says, my pastor, good evening. Good evening, bash, 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 bash. Elijah S says, please, from your personal opinion, do you have any problem with keyword that Quora ranks for except low volume? No. Any, actually, if Quora ranks for a keyword, it shows that it doesn't have competition because that's how forums rank. Forums are not supposed to rank at all. So it's a good one. I don't have a problem with that. Luato Biyoshidina says, good evening, sir. Don't forget, <laughs> ah, oh my word. This person just keeps asking the same question over and over. Rems of Koenonia says, Good evening, Jans. In two weeks' time, a domain I registered last year will expire. The domain is personalized. I want a name that can be related to a niche I'll, niche I'd like to choose later. How do I do it? I don't understand. If you've bought a domain, you've bought it. There's nothing you can do about that. Unless you want to throw that away and buy a new one. Nothing to be done. It just keeps bearing the name like that. And even if you buy a new one, you, if this one has traffic already, you can point this one to this new traffic so that anybody that types this traffic, it will route back to this. So it's just like that. Any other one? Nothing more to do. Uh, husband in trouble. <laughs> husband in trouble says, Giant man, sir. Good evening. I am in trouble already. <laughs> husband in trouble. Very funny name. You see how catchy his name is already. 
every husband will smile when they see this. Uh, Seshu Ukeima says, greetings from here, giant. This is the two times I'm second time I'm watching you, and you really boom. Please tell me what do I need to do now? I mean everything. That's a very broad question. I don't know where to start from. Everything. You have to be more specific. Prince Chuxata says, special greetings, Zadi B. Thank you for always telling the truth. May God give us the grace to take action. Amen. Uh, Ade, Lore, Ade Shola Steven says, how can I be a member of your class? It's Giants Classroom. Giantsclassroom.com with an S. Giantsclassroom.com. Or you reach out to me on Twitter at African Giant. African Giant 1. John C. Ama says, I'm proficient with data entry and analysis, and I want to start freelancing. Please, sir, what are your recommendations to guarantee success? Success is never guaranteed. It's always ozu and bozu. That's why we celebrate success, because it's not an easy thing. But then, if you know what it is, you just enlist on Fiverr and Upwork. And then you start ranking, and then you make money, just like that. Rasbot Empire says, hello, boss. I'm at a point of monetization. How long does it take for YouTube to review my channel? Maximum two days. It doesn't take more than that. Kendra Quinton says, hello, sir, Michael. Please, sir, can you mentor me? I'm a freelancer, and I need your WhatsApp number. Uh, sadly, I don't drop my WhatsApp, but you can get all my information in the description of the video. You have to reach out to me on Twitter or something. Only class, because I have a lot of messages on WhatsApp. So even as there's a possibility, I'm trying to reduce who messages me and so that I can attend to the important ones. Some people had already paid money for my class, so let me attend to them instead of ran answering random questions from YouTube. That's how I stopped giving my number, you know? That's just, but I can always type on emails. Somebody else can help me answer on emails. They leave the ones that are personal. So if I go there, I answer those ones. The ones that are, you know, general. The, my staff said power with that. So I'm sorry, but the description of this video I have that. Twitter. Twitter is like where I answer everybody at uh, African Giant One, War, uh, Figure One. Easy to learn, says. Thank you, sir. My access account is now working. Oh, glory to Jesus. That's interesting. Easy to learn, says. One more question, sir. Please, how do I get to increase my CPC? The niche you're in is what determines your cost per click which is aka okay, CPC. So it's your niche that determines that. So increasing that means you might probably change everything you're writing about to something that is huge. McDonald and I will say offering time, please like this video. Please like this video for the algorithm to know I'm here. I want to drink what our human being has spoken for two and a half hours. <laughs> it's time for offering. Yeah, be liking the video while I'm drinking the water. I think that's fair enough, one minute. No, three seconds. Okay, <clears throat> welcome back. Only three people liked. You people are stingy with your like. Can you imagine? 100 people watching, three people liked. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. MK Research says, this guy I show speed is live right now on a streaming game, just playing game, with over 51,000 people watching. This is crazy. It's not crazy. Some people live their life on games. And it's interesting because, you know, you are playing, they are playing. I don't really know how those game things work. You know, in Nigeria, we don't have that game live like that. But they do. Abroad, I think they do. It's not crazy. <laughs> Momo Omeza says, good evening, sir. Just joining the live. How was your weekend? Very well. And then how, how about the article writing? You are one of those that won. Like I said, I will attend to you this week. The last week, you just get as Uh Debbie Nine, the building, says, Happy Sunday, good to be here. Please explain the difference between AI content and human content for me, because I don't understand why some of my sentences look like AI, even when I write from my head. When AI content picks you, it underlines the part that it feels like it's an AI. Not like all the words are AI. Maybe you're not looking at it. So when you paste that AI, your content, and it says AI, just check on the side. You see the places that is marked AI, possibly AI. The, the, something it gives you is uh, overall 
uh, score. So for you, for example, if it says this is probably AI, maybe twenty five percent. Anything twenty fifteen percent is cool because what's will tally. But if it's giving you seventy five sixty fifty five. That's unrepresented AI. If you write from your head, there's no way it will be more than 20% or 15%. Or probably tell you zero, you know. But look at the right hand of the any AI uh, detector tool you are using. You see the part is underlining. It's not the part that you wrote. It's going to be the part you probably copied online. Maybe the person that you copied their own that you are trying to quote already has AI in it. That's that's what happens. Rua Shagmuaja, he says hello, sir. Felix Madubuike says hi. Prince Chukata says, please, is financial literacy or book review good for faceless YouTube channel? Yes, it might be good, but depending on... You see, the problem with culture is what is the problem with uh, YouTube. Because Nigerians don't read books. We don't really have interest in any financial literacy. Even see where we are teaching how to make money online. How many people do have interest? They just want the money now, now, now. Assuming I say investment, just see, let me come to this channel and say, anybody that has 20,000, it will be increasing to 25 every month. You see how much I will make on this channel. I will, I will get like 10 billion. Because that's what I, we think is investment. That's what we think is money making. I have 50,000, let me give it to you. How much will you be giving me every month? <laughs> that pension, nearly kind of stuff. That's what we think is money making. But it's not. So it's the same thing we were, you were asking, because at the end of the day, they won't study financial literacy. And the Oyibos that really like all these kind of niches, they won't watch you if you are black. And if you use AI content to generate it, it will not be disengaging. And then you'll be able to monetize more than Google Ads, which they can even demonetize you. We don't know. AI is still monetizable on YouTube, but what if they demonetize anytime? So that means all your work is gone. So that's why this thing is a little tricky. Okay. Uh, my mom says, I didn't know you're not feeling well. Get well soon. Okay, thank you. I think I'm well now. That was then. I'm just giving you the situation report. Not like I'm sick now. Ekel Maelin says, Good evening, sir, and all the giants in the house. Yusuf Abdullah says, Sir, may God bless your goodwill. I want to go into online money making and weight loss niche. <laughs> Please, I appreciate your kind response. Weight loss niche is it's been saturated since like three years ago. If you go there now, dead on arrival. Nick Daniel Smith says, Sir, how can one start a YouTube channel with a mobile phone as a beginner? I have that on this channel. Just type African Jam YouTube channel or something. You see that video. The video is there. I explained everything. How to open, how to do everything is there. Mary SS says, please, how can I get to you? On Twitter, at African Giant One. I'm there. Recap Central says, hey. Daniel Nick says, uh, sir, how can I grow my blog even though I create it? with an AI and try to make it human reading content. You can't grow it. Google is the indexing AI content now. Most people don't know. I, I screamed and shouted in the class. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go and use them to do yeah, yeah. And I'm not even joking. Yeah, yeah. I will be playing music underneath. Yeah, you they why me? Oh, lo, lo, lo. All those funny, funny things. Mr. Bernard, I'll be Uncle Bernard, I'll be Brother Bernard. I'll be playing it on my background when I'm yapping them. I shall see. See, I didn't really understand what Google was going to do to people using AI content. We thought it wasn't going to rank them. You know what they are doing now? They are de indexing those articles. They will de index it. So you have 100 indexed pages, which means 100 pages that Google is ranking and, you know, putting ranking. Immediately he sees AI, he will remove it from rank. Matter never finish. Maybe it's something that Google even puts up first. It's the one that will probably have rankings. That's what he's doing now. So you probably go to your Google console and see that half of your articles are not ranked. Anyone he sees that is AI, he will remove it from rank. And will not allow you to rank it again, to put the ranks. Uh, they tell them that time that they, there's no way Google will keep quiet for everybody to be using AI to be dumping things on their on their stuffs. They won't take that. I know. Now that bad is there, while I don't and I've been having that report oh, in my class. Oh, all of them that are saying I wrote 400 articles. Your 400 articles now, 200 or something has been deranked. <laughs> now, now we know say na AI you use. Sakara olo jene. 
I'm practicing the year that will do that class on Monday. <laughs> okay, Yusuf Abdullah he says, and another challenge I'm having is that I've written a good number of articles on Medium and I've received hundreds of claps. But clicking on my Google site blog link, the affiliate links are read as error. Yes, uh, they don't allow for that again. So, sorry. You don't cancel all of that. You can't post that. Uh, you can no longer post uh, affiliate links. What you can do is you can post your own link and then you post your affiliate link on your website and you bring the URL of that link back here. I don't know if that makes sense. Just say, see details on here. It's your own article. But when they click that one, they can now read everything and click your own affiliate link. Nobody wants to be mumu for anybody to make money off them again. That's it. Damn Larry, I already says, confirm talker. Mary says, hey, good evening, sir. First time being here. I want to start a YouTube channel, but I don't have the requirement, not even a laptop. You don't need a laptop to start a YouTube channel. I'm using my phone to stream now on here. I can do the same to record a video. I don't need a YouTube uh, laptop. You just need where there is light. You know, here is late. So this is like night. So everybody's cool with me not having enough light. But if it's in the afternoon and all, I record probably in the office or podcast area or main auditorium, whatever. It is what it is. But you don't have any reason not to start your YouTube channel. You don't need big gadgets. E-game says, size tech, tech niche, good for blogging. Tech is always good, but you, I don't know. You have to check the type you are going into. You, I can't just say it because tech is saturated, but you have to f see if you can get, you know, micro or macro niche of it before you can start it. Okay. MC Tolles Word says, I observe that I'm not consistent in my posting. What can I do? You already know. Then start being consistent. Easy Mathematics Tutorial says, based on the writing methods in the beginner room, classroom, which one can we base on actually? Writing by yourself is the one I use, and that's the one that works most. All of that ones is good, but you know, it depends on where you are copying from before changing and all of that. If that's AI, you want to use AI. But when you write from your head, because of what you have learned and known about the industry, it can never be AI. Never. Okay. Uh, Di Dilom Samuel says, Good evening, sir. What can make someone be successful on Amazon KDP? Is the title of your books. If you have good titles that are buyable, searchable, that people are already looking for, you'll be successful. That's the one that makes success. Where am I? Easy Mathematics Tutorial says, Boss, what niche can be valuable and lucrative on YouTube? Every niche is lucrative. Guys, for YouTube, it's about building community. It's not making money. She have said it. The three, four hours I use on live, my highest video gets about $7. It's not even up to $10. And in Nigeria, $10 is about what? Times 700. Maybe seven. How much is that? 7,000. I doesn't even get to that. So are you saying that all this my wahala for a whole three hours, four hours talk is because of 7,000? No. I'd rather sleep and pay myself the 7,000. <laughs> YouTube is about community building. It's not like all this make money, make money. So when you're coming to YouTube, you have to find something you can do. I told you I have 14 channels. Maybe I would, I wanted to, you know what I'll do? I'll make a video about them and explain each one and post it so that everybody will see. The first, let me tell you some of these channels so you'll see how I'm building community out of it. I'm not just doing because of money making, no. Pastor Blessing Kola Wale is my spiritual channel, like where I do uh, anything that has to do with Bible preaching and all. Because I usually don't want to mix these things together. Because that is it. So if we have to pray, I can pray here. I can do everything here. I can imagine. But can you imagine the next video you see is uh, three days fasting and prayer all day? Because that's the program we're starting on Tuesday. It's three days, all intensive. Fasting, prayer, vigil. Everything, 24 hours. Like that. You are going around 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours. Like. <laughs> and then you are seeing, the next one you see is now how to start your affiliate marketing. It doesn't make sense. All these are my mama, mama, and uh, people need prayers and all. What, what's it concerned with affiliate marketing? 
So that's why everything has to be community building. But in there, in Pastor Blessing, I can do anything I like there based on church, preaching, prayers. That settles it. That's one. I have the Pastor B, which is the comedy, like movie channel, where we just record skits and all. That's another one. People who are interested in skits might not necessarily want to pray, might not necessarily want to be on African Giant, which is the third one. Then I have Jan's Tube, which I only teach YouTube classes. That's the only thing I do on that. YouTube. I have Jan's Classroom. I have Jan's Alert, which is the affiliate of Alert. I have Family College, which everything we talked about is uh, divorce, relationship, marriage, family. That's the only thing there. We have Are You Kidding Me, which is like what trends. I have the Jan Stories, which is where I do reaction channels. I have Blessing Color Ole Yoruba channel, where I speak Yoruba. I convert everything I do to Yoruba. I have BlessingColorOle.com, which is my entrepreneurship, like motivational channel. What else do I have again? I have Jan Sports, which we do sports, MMA, football, and everything updates. Watch along. I have Jan Fitness, that's for uh, exercises and all. What else? That's 13, Abby. I think it's 14, about 17 or 18. I can't, I just have them like that. Which one do I even have again? I'm still thinking. Because I have three podcasts in them. So I stream on podcast three. And then normal regular videos, you know. Everything I mentioned now is to build a community. People that like sports are different from people that have like fitness, like exercises. Because exercises, you have to do it every day. Every morning, every morning and evening sometimes. And you have to give them the training of what they do. So people that are interested in that exercise, maybe all these are my man at home, the brothers, people that want to lose belly fat, people who want to build, you know, uh, triceps, biceps, you know, whatever steps. They won't come and be watching how to make money on affiliate. You understand what I'm saying? So it's everything is community, 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 community building. You work harder. You don't match them together because you are already I have ten thousand subscribers on here. So because you have ten thousand, you now match people who are coming for exercise to people who are making money on paper. How do they concern each other? So that's how you see me split it like that. It's a lot of work, but that's what makes successes across these places. So if you are looking for valuable, lucrative, go for what you, it's about you. What you can do consistently for the next 25 years that you'll not be tired. That's the one you go for. I have enough skills and uh, drive to go across all of them. That's why I'm doing a lot like that. The same reason why I have 24 blogs is the same process. Olubenga Detitun says, hello, how are you, sir? You are not in your office tonight. Yes, because I was resting throughout this afternoon and I couldn't just stay there, so... And I didn't want to miss this stream tonight. Digital Enlightening Academy says, how can I get to know how to be an affiliate to your course? Just go to giantalert.com. Giantalert.com. You see everything there. Debbie Nas says, thanks for explaining the importance of marriage. Okay, I explained. Very well. Lugwin Gaditu says, can you elaborate on free and paid promotion for YouTube videos? What's free and paid promotions? You're not supposed to promote. Let YouTube send you to just do enough content that anybody that sees you will subscribe to you. That's all. And if they subscribe to you, then you can keep going that way. That's no big deal. I don't know. I think we only focus on the wrong thing. It's like when you want to date a girl because she has big bum bum. If you see her 100 times, the only thing you want is that bum bum that you see. So if you see money making online alone, that's the only thing you'll be looking for. I just want to make money on YouTube, make money on this. But if you see value, like me, I don't see, I don't want to make money. I didn't do any of these things because I want to make money. Just like pastors that go to, look, in church, you can be, you can be a pastor and be a, a nemesis pastor. Because every time anything that comes to you, you are asking for money, you are looking for money, then they will tell you you are just in need for money. But those of us that are not in need for money doesn't mean we are not going to spend money. But I'm not going to be talking money, 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 money. I don't really care because that's not why I'm here. So if we do programs, okay, it's time to give offering. Give offering, we go. If it's 3,000, if it's 3 million, I don't really care about what the volume is. I just want to do what God has sent. So it's different from somebody who is really bothered about today we want to must make 3 million. And as they are praying, there's some people who are trying to count and looking at the basket. How many... Is it 15 and that's plenty there or 1,000? Some pastors do that, you know? That's just the difference. Pay promotion? No. 
your channel will go like this and go like this. Because when you are paying for uh, YouTube to promote you, one, you can't monetize through that because any paid anything will not add to your monetization metrics. And then when YouTube is no longer showing you to those people, all those impressions and things that you have will collapse. You want to cry. You see, it's better not to go viral on YouTube. Oh. Just be going normal. You know, if you're having 1,000 views and you're making your $400, you can just stay on that or $200, you already know. But if you just go viral one day and you make $1,600, if you have been making $200 before and you go viral and make $1,600, that's six months of money. And guess what? As you go like this, that side will still come back like this. There's no magic to it. Because the month you go viral with that video, it will help some of your videos. The next month, that view that made you $1,600, you probably make around $600 next month that follows it because it will come down. Third month, it will come to that $200 that you had before. But the problem now is you have made extra money for two months. Two hundred dollar will now look to you like trash. It's just normal, cause now you are looking at trying to get to that one six or even more. One year you feel no reach there again because you can't say what will go viral again. You will be trying everything you know, you know they go anywhere. So if you really don't love that community enough, if it was because of money, you'll be tired. You don't want to do it again, and that's the problem most people have. So it's better you don't go viral. Just be going at your pace like that. So if you have that mentality, even if you go viral and come back, it's still normal to you. That's what I advise. Yeah, uh, where am I? Hero HD says, Chief, good evening, sir. As a family, my regards to all of them. How do I have to get profitable niche for my blog writing? As a beginner, I'm finding it difficult. Any advice? There's no advice. There is a template to it. In the classroom, I taught all those templates. So you follow the template fully one by one, then you get to your niche. That's all. Otherwise, there's no advice. It's just template. David Nick Smith says, so please, does AI really work on blog? It doesn't. If you use it on your own, they will still de-index it. That's what's happening now. So my advice is don't do that. Uh, where am I? I think I just clicked on does AI work on something, something. Okay. Uh, Mad, Mad, Mad Day Universe says, I'm so sorry, sir. I wish to ask you something away from the topic. I don't know if you don't mind. No, you can ask me. I answer every question, whether personal or whatever it is. I would always, always answer. Digital Enlightening Academy says, how can I get to know how to become your affiliate? Giantalad.com. I think I answered that before. Kechuku Kinsley says, thanks, Daddy B. You did justice to my queries. Rasbot Empire says, inheritance is open. Legacies are parts you laid down. For the next generation i think i agree with race board legacies are ogun uh sorry inheritance is ogun legacies are the parts you laid down for the next generation uh adequate agribra says i hope kdp modules will be open tomorrow no 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 no, not tomorrow i don't think so because to upload on lmc world and you see that upload behind so that you can see it takes a longer time as well so i don't want to promise tomorrow maybe like wednesday thursday so that, you know, I don't want to give you the exact day I'll finish. What if I didn't finish it for one hour or two hours? So look at where is the Thursdays, please. Sorry. Doug Ohm says, good evening, boss. Please, how can I sell ebooks on Paystack to international countries? Paystack does not end, collect money in dollars, so you can't use Paystack for international countries. Hero HD says, Sir, please, someone thought on YouTube, how you can use AI to write a plagiarism free article for a blog and when checked with plagiarism checkers. It's not plagiarism that is a problem. Plagiarism is a problem. AI written is another problem. For God's sake, for everybody here, let me say it again. The only reason you're interested in this AI AI is because it writes for you easy and you don't have to work, which is exactly what I said I don't look for. Even if the whole world is using AI to write, I will not still use it. I like chaos, I told you. I prefer to do something on my own. If you have a blog about motorcycle, in the next 10 years, even let's say AI is writing for you and you are making money, will you know anything about motorcycle? He said, no. I am interested in the value and knowledge again, not just money, 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 money. Maybe because I'm a pastor and I need the volume of knowledge to be able to preach and do a lot of things. Maybe, yes. But even when I was in a pastor, this is, I'm still very solid looking for knowledge i don't want anything to just happen to me to whom it may concern i need to know so for me i prefer to read and write everything by myself 
I don't want any nonsense here. I open my chat GPT, maybe if I would just want to check up on uh, more things, you know, if I'm doing research, and I do this not because I'm writing. If, let's say I start a blog on motorcycle, I'm going to read everything about motorcycle that is available in the world. That's why I've read over 20,000 books. I will read, if it's two months, three months, I won't do anything, I won't eat. I'll just continue to read like that. When I say I won't eat, not like I won't eat food like that. Like my whole concentration is that book or books or anything that explains it until I understand every singular concept, both in manufacturing and selling anything about that motorcycle. When I understand that, then I go to keyword research. So when I'm doing my research, I'm doing it as if they took me back to Palmer 6 to go and do highest common factor, lowest common multiples, and all those small, small 2S plus 2S algebra. It will be very easy for me. But for most of us, when we pick our niche, we know nothing about our niche. Then we say we are doing keyword research. How would you even understand what is competitive or not? So you are practically depending on tools to do what you should have done as a human being, which is what will make you different. Can you imagine I speak here every... Okay, let's even assume I don't know this job. Like I'm hyping it and giving freelancers to help me study. Can anybody who don't know this thing well be here? Somebody just asked me about Paystack now. How do I use Paystack to uh, sell to international communities? If I was just doing hype, I won't even know what Paystack does. I might know what it is, but I already know that Paystack does not have dollar equivalent on it presently. So nobody can use it for international market. And then even if you do it, it's not Paystack that lets your market go international. Your market can go international. Paystack, even if Paystack doesn't collect, maybe you have Stripe or PayPal, you can use that. But yeah, they want to take it international, which means you have to build on international audience. The only way you can do that, you can't use this, my blackface. Nobody will listen to you. You have to use blog that nobody will know if you're in Nigeria or anywhere. They will just see the value. You see how these things work. So basically, everything is still on us. It's stop looking for AI, this AI, that. Since AI came now, we know the AI word again. AI this. That's why people, maybe a little people are coming into blogging because they think AI will do it. But Google has started papa pa, 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 now. So everybody will move back now. They will leave us, those of us that are ready to do the work. Because you can probably write one or two articles on a daily basis. This thing is not hard though. When you subscribe, for example, from my classroom, my classroom I made free, buy a website, 42,000, and then you join the class. You learn everything. Let's not say you have gotten to where to write articles, you learn articles, everything, and then you start, maybe finish designing your website and all. Everything that that will take you is what? Everything. If you write two articles per day, let's say you are writing one, one, one per day. One month, you have 30. Two months, you have 60. Three months, you have 90. Four months, you have 120. Let's say you use the first one, two, three months to study everything in the class and you're implementing, you know. And then you use four months to write 120 articles. What was that? Four months, three months, seven months. You have one year on the first blog before you renew. After, I can guarantee to you, if you have 140 articles, 120, in four months, good ones, like I told you to write one per day, you would, meanwhile, you can't write one per day for four months. You probably write one per day for the first one, two weeks. After that, you improve to two because your speed will increase, typing speed will increase. Remember, I taught how to speed type. I taught it in the classroom, how you can type fast like we are typing. I taught you how to read fast. So all of these things we accumulate for you. In under one month, you improve. Maybe you're not writing two. In another time, you improve, you write three. That's how I got to writing 30 in a day. It's just as simple as that. It's not like you continue to write one, and then you write one till Jesus come. No. You will improve. You start writing two. You start writing five. Sometimes you start writing 10 per day. And then you are there. Because when you monetize, your monetization is valuable because you have something that is ranking well and now You start making money. Even if it's $200, $500, you no longer panic because... Google money is Google money. Forget. This thing will be landing your account every 23rd and you, you will be smiling. So you have more confidence to continue writing. You won't be panicking about what to eat, what to do. And from there, you can now start building heavily on affiliate, build heavily on increasing your CPC, build all these things you implement on it. You are there. Say you never finish. Will somebody now start saying you're arrogant about like You now make money. If you like, you teach other people how to do it. If you like, you stay on your own and exhibit and then you can offer this as a freelancer when you have the skills. Because some people don't know. You might not be valuable as a freelancer because you don't know what it takes. But when you know what it takes, yes. And that's it. How difficult is this? Seven months. Within one year, life don't change. 
even if it has not changed to like becoming Dangote, but at least you already know that you're on the path. By the time you finish second year, you know go know yourself again. See, that was what happened to us. That's what happened. There's no magic. Day. You invest like one year, two years, boom, you are in 50 million, 60 million. Everything don't change. Forever, you don't change. You can invest in physical businesses and all. But if you don't, you are not ready to sacrifice that your one year. Forget to. Now, so we go to speak English and AI. Adiyah Murashi says, Good evening, sir. The admin has not gotten back to me about my blog and domain and hosting, and it's getting to two weeks. Ah, your own is never, never long ago. Maybe, are you in the WhatsApp class? So you understand. When you order, I know this has been done anyway, because it's part of what I did during the week. I already bought all the domains and everything, hosting. But I'm just saying, because uh, my strategy before, the most students frustrated it. When you ask for those domains, I know most people have not done due diligence. You see somebody join the classroom two weeks, you're already saying domain, domain. I know you have not gone through anything. You are just deceiving yourself. And it will pay because <laughs> it's like a profit. I can already see it. So what I do is when you request for that domain, I always leave it for one month. I will not do it. Not because I'm busy or anything. No. I just leave it there. Guess what? In between, people will say, oh, that please, uh, that first email I sent, I don't want that niche again. I've seen another niche. They will change it. They will come back again after like one and a half weeks. Oh, it's now that I understand what you thought in the class. Because me delaying them on purpose, they will be angry. Oh, they will be abusing me, calling me out in the classroom. Oh, but I usually don't talk. It's just from experience. I've done that over the one year and uh, maybe and a half that we have spent in the class in all. But in my head now, I'm tired of people calling me out like that in the class and thinking I'm the source of their problem. One woman told me that uh, she borrowed money to join my class and that the way I did not give the domain, that I'm the reason why she will not be successful, the thing pay me. You know, women have bad mouth. So I said, after I give you this domain, you will need my help on this thing. So then I will now say my own bad word back to you. I give it back to you word for word. I know they hide. I'm not a pastor that keeps quiet like that for anybody. That same day was when I bought every other person's domain. Guess what happened? Immediately I got to where I studied domains. I just felt like, okay, don't let me use one person's uh, maybe bad mouth to deal with everybody. I said, let me go and check those emails back. If I saw people that changed their emails. Out of, I, I subscribed for like 17 people, new people. Three of them changed their email. Out of 17 people. They changed their domain name. And it's just about two and a half weeks old. Normally, I will suspect that we'll hold on to it till one month. So whoever wants to sleep over it and change it, and maybe people didn't go through the course very well. But that woman just made me, I just bought everything. So this guy that is talking, I am 100%. I know I bought all your domain and everything. I just waited for it to propagate. But because I didn't go to the office today, I would have sent everybody their domain. I don't, I, to, now I know they wait again. You send it, I buy it. If it's not good, you pay another 42,000. Nothing can sign me. You know, the passion I had for this work, the, even people in the class, when we started, we were doing Zoom. This life now is three hours. I was doing Zoom seven hours, <laughs> six hours. I'll sit down with them one by one. I'll be evaluating it, telling them what to do. Half of them don't do anything. It's like we were jinxed or cost. <laughs> Half. Now let me get passion. Let me get my mouth. Let me get data and time to waste. And I'm, I was telling them something. I said, do you know how many thousands of dollars I wasted? Because you guys have forgotten that I'm a freelancer. People will give me a job. I'll tell them I can't do it at their pace. They will go. $150. At some point, I increased all my prices. Prices I was supposed to call it $60, $80. I turned it to $150, 250 Just so that everybody will get out. Because I was teaching some people that I made the class free. Like, I was just passionate. Because it's my own calling. So this is not because I want to raise money. That's why till today, after one and a half years of these classes, I have not gone anywhere to market my class. You can see they said that place are marketing and mm, not one day. Except I talk about it like this in live. I don't. I have not. Don't let me say I don't, but I don't see a reason for it. I just believe that anybody that sees this course, God has blessed. But fortunately, some of us are not even making the reality look like that. Some people are really working on and they are making money. I'm happy. But I, I thought this was not going to be like selected few. I thought it was going to be like all of us together, like plenty, even if we are 2,000. I don't know saying that like this when I go turn them. Me, I'm not saying, I'm not worried that I'll say lazy you too, but I'm getting close to that. Top 10 Goon says, 
So what are the easiest niche to grow on faceless? There's no <laughs> on YouTube, there's no niche that is easy. Just choose the one you are comfortable with. Pretty Angel says the boss. Since AI is simplifying writing, can we use AI non declutter to escape? <laughs> I think I explained more about AI. There's no need to escape, just write by yourself. ERHD says, what's the best niche for ICPM in blogging, sir? The best niches, you cannot do anything about it. Best niches are in finances, maybe mortgage, loans. But go there. You can't even see one, <laughs> one single line of low competition you can't see there. Because it's high RPM. Everybody had stuck it up right now. Even me, I have. They are not doing exhibitantly well. Because the whole place is brushed up. Rems of Quinina says, please, how do I get my access pin for my YouTube channel? I've applied for it three times now. It's been to the post office for it, but all prove abortive. Just try and apply for the fourth time. If you apply for the fourth time, they will let you do it without going to the post office. You can just do it with your ID card. So do it for the first time, and then that's it. I think in one-on-one, -on -one, you can, if you apply for the fourth time, tell me, I'll send you the video. I made the video. I got, hopefully, I've not misplaced it. But even if I misplaced it, I will tell you how to do it. After the fourth time, if you, they allow you to do the last fourth time, immediately you can use your ID card instead of that pin. Uh, Indeed says, what's your daily routine? Wake up, pray, eat, go to the office, work till 11 p.m. in the night. That's all. Eze Elijah says, I love what you're doing, but I need a one-on-one -on -one tutor. Yes, I do one-on-one, -on -one, but it's 200K. It's quite respective. Because what you go through, one-on-one -on -one means you have to know everything I know. So when I say everything, I mean the ones that I have in Giant's classroom. It's about seven courses there. You know, so you learn them one by one by one by one by one like that to implement. It's a lot of work because you have to go through each one. That's my one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, that's what I know by one-on-one. -on -one. Product Up says, good evening, Pastor Blessing. Thank you very much. Top 10 Goon says, hope it's safe to write YouTube video script using ChatGPT since Google is against it. No, Google is different from YouTube now. YouTube is content creation. You are the one to say it. So there's no AI or plagiarism on videos. It's only on text that you have plagiarisms. Uh, product of says, like, how much can I make with 130 blog posts? Because you see, everybody keeps talking about how much can I make money. Nobody's ready to say, what was that value I'm giving to people reading? You see the difference between me and you people now? That, that's why I'm making money and most people don't. You are so worried about how much, how much, how much, how much. I don't even think about it. I was telling someone today, when I was to pay for my website during the week, I paid one one million two hundred and eight thousand for my website. Some of them I've not monetized, and I'm paying for it. This is like second year I'm paying for those ones, and I've not monetized it. But then you say, hey, "I've got guys because you have money." This was the same idea when I started the first one, and I had nothing to. It's it's just mentality. I'm not interested in making money. I'm interested in the value. Give enough value, money will be running after you. Now you go to run away from money. But you people are so bent on how much to make, how much to make. Who will come and make you the money? Well, you don't even know what you're going to do there. If you know what you're going to do there, you may ask me, me now, do I care if my article is 130 or 160 or 140? I have a website that I don't have one single article on. Don't let me even say that now, because that's the one everybody will be asking me to do. One single article, I don't have it, and it's making money with Google AdSense, and I don't have one single article on it. Stay there, I'll be joking, I'll be playing. We, we are outside. But I'm just telling you what works here. Because now you are saying, how much will I make 130 block posts? You can write 130 block posts that is not ranking and you make zero. And you can write 20 that will rank everywhere and then you make $1,000. So it's nothing with this. It's just for you to know the strategy and then implement. Whatever comes to you at the end of the day comes to you. We can't all have the same result from 130 articles. Otherwise, that means Google has nothing they are doing. Ads are different from each other. And look at this. Let me even read this. It says, because I, I, I'm almost on 110 articles now, though I haven't posted any, I want to reach 130 before I start posting. <laughs> okay, why you the right article? Keep for us. How's the rank article? You don't know it has to rank, 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 and Google understand your authority before it starts uh, exposing you. If you write five, you post it. Even if it's only two, you post it. Well, why are you waiting? What is it doing? Unless you think you, you, the articles are bad. And you have forgotten that the opportunity you have to rank on a low competition key, keyword 
If you wait under two months, somebody else might have written it and rank. So you now you now be number three again. Something you should have number one before to have more views. That's a very bad approach to it. The only thing I told you is, as a beginner that doesn't know how to write, write your first 50 articles on your own head without even talking about website first. And the reason for that is if you pick a niche, you have to be certain that that's the niche you want to go into. So by the time you write your first 50 articles on your own without any research, that would have taught you everything you need to know about that niche. People don't know these strategies. If you could write 50 articles on your own from a niche, you know everything about that niche. At least you know more than enough to continue writing. That is when you now collect your uh, website, design it, and then you post this 50, three, 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 three per day like that. So why those three, three are coming up, you know, you auto should do it. Why they are coming up every day, they are also ranking. And then you are writing the new ones now with research and keyword research. So by the time you get to it, you are posting these ones as well. And then it just keeps going three, 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 three like that for forever. God will help us. I'm almost getting to the end of the stream today. Uh, Moses Chugose says, boss, which class is that, boss? I'm on beginner's class in case of the Yabe. It's WhatsApp class. WhatsApp class. That's what I call the WhatsApp status for beginner's class. That's the one I call the Yabe. Product Sub says, how can someone monetize Facebook page? Because I heard that Facebook is also monetized paying creators. Yes, I'm going to teach you on the channel. Shashun Ukemyima says, okay, everything I mean how to buy your course is on Jan's classroom. That's where you get the course as well. Mr. Mike says, is the ranking the same with crawled, but not currently indexed? Mm, yes, it is. Crawled and not indexed is the same thing. It puts you on not indexed. That's the ranking. No, no, no. The ranking is it drops you from rank. The indexing is it removes you from Google completely. You'll see it now. It will be ash color in your Google Coso. If it's ranked, it will be green color. Momo Meza says it's blogging in total saturated. Capital no. Uh, people in my one on one, I'm getting them news every day. Like me, because me, I know what to look for. Even Bashir who called me today and told me another niche. And I was like, now you understand what blogging is all about. The niche he chose today. In one million years, I can't even think of it. Even me. Immediately said it. Guess what he said? He said, my wife said it to me. Because we are always discussing that when the wife too was there. And the wife was interested in blogging. I said, she can do it. She can do it. I said, yes, a woman should do it better. Because they have more time to be relaxed. They can write. They can stay at home for long. You know, so I believe a woman can do the job better off. When he said, my wife said, I said, what he just told me. I said, you people are confirmed bloggers now. But Bashir Nagbawo is not just a new person you know, like we started together so he knows way more than an average person but he, I, he, that was the point I knew he understand blogging because he has not been blogging before I think he has only one channel uh, one website I told him I said that's it now you understand what I'm saying from that point you can see hundreds hundred of hundreds of niches that nobody's there the niche he said even without checking anything I know nobody's there <laughs> nobody's there I can confirm that to you one billion percent so, if you say authority because you are looking for a relationship, you are looking for how to make money online or finance, you are looking for parenting, all these regular things that, do you know how many parents had existed before? They have done parenting, uh, pregnancy. I'm like, why is everybody with that, uh, you know, linear? Come on now. John C. Ama says, how efficiently do you manage your multiple YouTube channels? I manage all of them. Because I produce content. So the content I produce is what I put. You know, because I'm not doing it because I want to make money. So I'm not under pressure. I have monetized channel that I won't paste on one month. Mm -hmm. You know, because I mean, monetization is just what? Residue. But the real work is the value. So the ones where I have it more interesting, the ones I'm posting. But now because I have staffs, that was before I have staffs. So now I have staffs. So we are good to go. So my work is faster now. You can even see on African Giant that I'm producing every two, two days. My plan on this channel was to produce every two, two days. But sometimes I would do one in one week, you know. But now that I have stars that are happy, every two, two days. Very easy. My only is to record. So if I'm going to record, I start 9 o'clock, I record till 5 in the evening. I'll record everywhere from classroom to physical to... And then my editors will continue to edit. Nothing because I'm... Before, it's me that will record. It's me that will edit. It's me that will dance. It's me that... But now the work is becoming a little spread. So it's better off. 
Arwaye John says, good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Pretty Angel says, boss, you just mentioned book title for success on KDP. What can we do to get super titles? Is research. It's KDP research. Just put African Giant research. You see it there. The problem with research is, see, one month you can be researching and get just three titles. But people don't have that time. They just want to do buru 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 and quickly make money. That's the problem with research. Even on YouTube channels, I, I gave up now. Those times I always sit down to research. All my videos will go viral now. But now I don't get time. Just because I have a lot of subscribers, I just do anything I like. And <laughs> but if I still have time to sit down and research that way I was doing, one week I'm researching. You get to the end of it now. That's how you get the low content and good ones. It's not all these ones on the surface. You have to get to the end. Anyway, Mary says, sir, do you have a free mentorship class? On YouTube, YouTube is free. I create content here for free. That's enough uh, mentorship. This is Enlightening Academy says, another question. What are the tools to know high search volume? I don't use tools again. No, I can't even remember any tools. I, I don't use tools again. Mr. Cap says, Kai, boss, you are just sharing all the secrets f for free. For those that are there, know the value you are sharing. I don't keep, what's value? Value, no, the finish. I tire for value. There's not, I don't hide anything. What am I hiding? See, for people who I'm talking to here, you think, oh, it's sharing secret. Come to the class. <laughs> you think I'm not doing anything on this channel. Then come to me on a personal note, uh, like all these people in one-on-one, -on -one, and let's, let's start rolling on a personal note. You see, value is like, it depends on moods, and it's just a natural thing to me that flows to me. I'm like a vessel. It comes to me naturally. I don't even know what I know. That's the simple thing. I just consume things, and it is what it is. She Shehum Ukemiya says, do I need a laptop for this course? Yes, you do. 100%. Digital Enlightening Academy says, what app can I install to go live on YouTube with smartphone and how to set it? It's not. You don't need to do anything. Just normal YouTube app. You click the plus sign, you see go live. I can even go live with two people. Maybe I'm going to start that very soon with all my students that have uh, made something here and there. So you can be seeing them. Just like I don't like anything pushy. I don't want to convince you to join my class. I just want your spirit or the spirit that doesn't want you to remain poor. Let it convince you by itself. That's just my mentality. Because if I have to copyright you, press you, send you emails and all, and like I'm forcing you. That's why sometimes if I'm not creating those courses at the pace the students want it, they really don't shout on me that much because they show me that compassion. Because I didn't force them to buy. I didn't copyright. I did not tell any lie. There's no come and make 100,000. Mm -mm. We all know it's in value. It's your value that creates the money. That's how I'm doing. I'll be out, you see me now, no sleep at the talk. I'm not creative value. So you have to do what I'm teaching too now. Or oh, how else will you get the money? Anyway, eGames says, Sir, I've earned commission on your affiliate. I see the commission on my dashboard, but I've not been paid. What should I do? You can't get paid unless you've made $5,000. Oh, ah, sorry, 5000 naira. Because we can't be paying one, two, or three, five, or you know, this much more money. So your commission needs to cross 5000 then we pay. If you cross 5,000, if it's 12,000 or 5,000, 16 naira, you get your 5,000, 16 naira. If it's 45,000, you get the 45,000, like that. So if your commission is, you see your commission yourself. So if it's 3,000, we can't pay 3,000 until you cross 5,000. That's, it's automatic pay. -o. You know, everything about uh, Giant Alert is automated. I bought that in very costly -o when I set it up that time. But I think my normal nature of not pushing things to people's throat is just why it's like not extremely popular. You know, this s and all these people, they'll be pushing everywhere, Twitter, but I don't do it. Maybe we'll get to it later, Sha. But I'm still busy with the classroom, so let's go. Rafael Adedo, he says, sir, please do your staff work on Saturdays and Sundays. And I'll best recommend staffs working around the clock are compensated. I give my staffs a... Uh, Yo, this one where I want to talk now, now while they look for. <laughs> I have a staff place that I put staff. So you have free accommodation. And I probably buy bed, gas, all these things for them. So the only thing you probably have to even sometimes I put solar. So I give them those things to limit what they spend. Because I believe my staffs are supposed to be very successful as well. Ah, I'm not supposed to discuss this. So oh, now, while they fine. Now everybody will say I want to come and work for you because there is free accommodation. 
but I won't just forget about it because I have a limit of what I need and I'll probably get my first basic. So for what we are doing now, this basic is what I need. If I need extra, that will be later, maybe if we are expanding. I have editor, I have graphic designer, I have article writers, I have myself, I have... Uh, uh, what's that other one doing? So this one is like field for now. Otherwise, I'm just going to be incurring cost of no reason. Because if we utilize this once and we know we need extra, that's when we gain more. For now, no. And for that compensation, most people, I, I don't even need... They know. The people, I don't know. People around me know already. You are compensated every day, self. There's no... I can't the number of times I'm buying food, I'm giving them things like I don't I see staffs as family basically. Because my own mentality is I have a dream, you are helping me to fulfill mine, I will help you fulfill yours. That's what I feel to staffs. Every time. Since I've ever been having staffs, staffs we send to school, staff we whatever. Like you can probably tell me everything and we'll work your life out in two, three years. Not everybody can monetize their life, but I know how to monetize. So I help you monetize yours with your skills. It's on a different level. My kind of personality is different. Yeah? It's, I don't have uh, all this kind of... What do you mean? Come and collect money here. I know what you mean by compensation, but... And I don't force anybody to work. <laughs> you work at your pace. You go out at your pace. I'm a bad CEO. Because <laughs> if you are not serious, your life can spoil working for me. Because I really don't complain. If you like work, if you like play, you can sit in the office and watch a movie. This is how I'll pass near you and go my own way. I just believe that people that will choribu, people that will not make it, they won't make it, no matter where they are. And people that will, they will. So anything, any vibe you give me, I accept. That's the way I run my own things. I leave everybody. And when I'm tired of you, you will go your house. John Siama says, a friend of mine has offered to teach me how to design a website using WordPress. Please, how can such be used for blogging and still owing such quality anyone in your class? I don't, if you want to join the class, website uh, design is in the class. All this was you are saying is part, it's a module in the class. We have 38 modules, website design is one out of the 38. So, whether they teach you or whatever, any day you are going to join the class, you need a website. The fact that you can design a website doesn't give you a website. So, you still have to buy a website and the domain name. So that's what we, that's the forty two thousand the class is meant for. Every other thing is free. I made that free to support as well. McDonald now says, Sir, please, what websites can be to check or verify emails that has no charges? It's very difficult to have websites that way. The only way I beat this is I don't just go ahead scraping free emails. Like I make sure I get emails from the people that send it to me using uh, landing pages. So that's the only thing I do. Hero HD says money is the motivation. Uh, oops, that moved fast. You people are still asking questions. What's the time? Twelve thirteen. Okay, I have thirteen more minutes to spend, and I will run away by God's grace. <laughs> okay, I think I've gone through all these ones here. Okay, okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Uh, Genial Humonwa. Ah, did I call that correctly? <laughs> I doubt. Says you are doing live in bed. Wow. Yes, <laughs> I can. Abby. <laughs> Paul Lawson says I built an electric cat toy. Help me grow and eat. I'm helping myself. Oh, you know, I said it at the beginning of this channel. I know they look, you know, people will say, hey, my, my, I just want to help people. Me, I know they look to help people. Let me help myself first. <laughs> if I help myself, I know it's easier to help others. So like now you say I should help you. Me, I'm still busy helping myself. Wait, when I finish, I'll come to you. But you can learn whatever I'm doing and implement on your own as well. Mm. I'm not going to leave my own. Day. Like Yoruba will say, I carry my own for I can't put your own for head. It's only the name of help. No, forget that one. No. I put my own on the head. Use two and hold them. If you need my help, I'll tell you. See what I do. When this if you reach my head, do your own. Mm. My epa, oh, my epa. <laughs> Devina says, Sir, mention the name of the niche. We are waiting. No, I'm not going to mention it. He's going to do it, so I don't want to, you know, bust it up. Tea time with Harriet says, What do I have to do to get into the KDP class? 
and one of the lucky winners. Nothing. Send an email to me, I told you. I saw the emails, but you know, I have to reach out to you and tell you what to do to enter. So that's a process. Some of you just think when I say, yeah, picked as a winner of a class, it's just like, boom. I have to now onboard you. Like, I have to get into class. Which, by the time I had loads of work before I gave the giveaway, I can't leave those ones I promised I'll give it today, I'll give it tomorrow, and then go to another new thing. That's why I said, you know, to us, these things look easy, but to me that I'm doing it, I know it's not like that. I saw the emails. I, I had to just put them in uh, a folder, so I will go back there as soon as it's time to do that. I know I will onboard you, not even only you. There are some people I moved from KDP to YouTube. Since all this time, they'll be saying, yeah, no, I said, there are things that has to be in place. It's not just like this. It's like going to university and saying, yeah, I should just go to class. No, you do registration, you go and pay this, pay that. But yeah, you're not paying, but I still have to move you through those series of like people who paid. So it's not, it's not that easy. Facebook Empire says, please share with us niches to go into, into blogging. I'm not sharing anything. There's a billion reasons before you choose a niche. It's not as straightforward as you think it is. Achieve also says, is this advantage we have two or three channels as a beginner? No, you have one. I started with one. When I got successful with one, I started implementing with others. And I have uh, loads of monetized channels and good. Esther Bola says, sir, can you talk about time management? I really don't manage my time. I go for events. I, I start from the prioritized events. For example, you see me do everything. When it's time for ministry work and uh, church work and all, I prioritize that. That's my number one. Then I prioritize African Giants. Then I put other channels and other things like that. So anywhere I do the work and night reach, I go back to sleep. I don't really worry myself about not finishing what I plan to do in a day. I just continue to do with the basic one that I need to do, which is the most important. So even if others did not go through, you can see me apologize for what I'm supposed to do last week. That's to tell you, I don't really worry about it. Anywhere I can do, I do. I'm a human being. Work will always supersede human being. There's a day I will die and there will still be work. So I can't over just continue like that. I work as much as I can, but and it works everywhere. I just pick the events I'm to do, do the best ones, and let's go of the others. Uh, I am Joseph say Odogu. Olubenga, this is thanks for your response to my question. Sheshug Ukeima says, please, sir, how much is it to learn your course? The online beginners class is free. You pay forty two thousand, four and two thousand naira for a blog. That's like website. We use the money to buy domain name and hosting. That's all we do. All of that is free. You are not going to pay for anything. Uh, Saeed Abolaji says, please, what's the basic thing to do to be able to join your class? Because it's the first time I'm attending this, this class here tonight. I just explained it. Nothing. Just make sure you have a laptop because it's very necessary. You have to use that. And then be able to have some data because you have to use data. I think that's all. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of today's streaming. I think, uh, okay, Sashu Ukeima says, I'm interested in learning blogging, but in summary, what are, what it entails? You just check Jan's classroom. You want me to tell you what it entails? Uh, something like, it's plenty. It's not just what, it's everything. You're just talking about everything to make money online. So check it on Giants with an S, giantsclassroom.com. Then you go to online beginners class. You see everything. It's 38 modules. Everything we teach, you see there. Even the subtitles and everything, uh, sub modules, the lessons. I put everything there. I did not hide my lessons, so you see what I'm going to teach you. It's just like <laughs> you know that this is value packed. It is what it is. Uh, John C. Ama says, God bless you, boss. Have a great week. Your word says, Father Kebetiku says, Thank you so much for tonight. Good night, very much. Good night, good night, good night. It's past 12, yeah. It's 12 19. We call it a day. The week will be fine. You will break through, but please concentrate on online. You've been trying offline, and you know. It's time to concentrate a little. Online will deliver more than offline because this is dollars. So. No matter how good Nigeria is, either they float dollar or not, dollar is dollar. Rasbot Empire says good night, boss. Literature 247 says good night, boss. Good night, good night, good night.